Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's get started. I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. How are, how are you Time to get your weekly sports fix. By the skin of their teeth, they lost. You know, then you can just ride it the whole thing. With sticks. You're looking a little tan, though, my brother. Why is that, I wonder? Oh, were you alluding to I was out of town for a minute? That I, oh, you uh, know, I haven't I got... seen your ugly mug in like <laughs> two weeks, you know. Haven't been able to chat it up. Va- vaguely had a few text conversations. I mean, you know, I had to do all the dirty work, which we'll get into later. How you don't believe in your boy? I don't know, man. Yeah, I had to get up out of here. It's too cold for the for the bones, man. I don't know what's going on, but uh, and plus, like we was a little overdue, man. Seeing the same cycle of everything, man. Sometimes you got to refresh. You got to wheels up and get out of here and reset your reset your mind frame. Get a little peace of mind. See a little nature as close to nature as i like you know what i mean i'm not all into this woods and sand which i call dirt you know and oceans i don't need all of that but the relaxation part of the events i'm all for that very necessary very needed and appreciated like a mug man as soon as i got back man i'm telling you as soon as we hit into the temperature realm Oh, that we get on a regular that good hot 40 30 something degrees oh my body was like what is this what's going on man oh man i started missing that warmth so bad man that's what was so <laughs> damn great about it man i you mean wild to, out you might need to move to the uh to the uh warmer weather climate my brother i didn't know that i was going to pre- that my body was going to appreciate it like that that was just like a bam slam in the face man so uh, but yeah, man, it was nice, man. Got on, got on some boats and saw a couple of the little uh, natural rock formations out there, um, which is cool. Cab- Cabo is like a little cool little spot, but there's really not a lot to do over there. Um, it's literally just you go there because the way that the city sits is surrounded by water. So the, all your resort is going to be like a mini Hawaii type situation. You know what I mean? It's boats, it's jet skis, it's this kind of thing. ATVs if you want, all of that type of thing. But most of it revolves around seeing the water, being in a pool and this kind of thing. So um yeah, that's just a bunch of resorts out there. But it, it was real it was real smooth, man. And uh I'll do it again. I don't hey. know. I would need more act- action though. But it was cool that it wasn't a whole lot of people there, man. People was observing space and all that. I didn't have to even trip about catching it getting it because it's a whole lineup of people getting tested on the premises which i thought was real dope making sure everybody was still straight um and they're not infecting people so man yeah it was a cool time man nice that was awesome yeah i saw some pictures from the wifey and uh yeah what the hell and uh yeah watching tv bro i'm trying to tell you you know what i'm saying tom brady (laughs) <laughs> you know, just saying, yo, I felt like I was watching a luchador match, you know what I'm saying? But watching football, yeah, listening to luchadors and the way oh, they describe yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Because there wasn't no English football popping off, you know what I'm saying? That was just not the thing that was not available. None of the sports channels were in English. Oh, yeah, so was it, uh, there was no, no ESPN. subtitles in no subtitles in English. And man, I couldn't get that thing to flip the script and, and translate the subtitles to save my life, man. We worked on that TV and that damn remote hard trying to figure out if we get the subtitles to translate for us in English, but that was not the case. Um, Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, so, 
but yeah, no, it was cool though. But I'm telling you, those dudes and uh, what was one of the names? Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Because they used that man. I'm trying to tell was you, just bro. fired up, rolling. Yo, it was like you know, you know the whole thing about the clips with the soccer uh, announcers and all of oh, that and yeah. the extra elongated goal for sure you know what i mean it, it was like that you never get that kind of energy from al michaels uh damn uh, <laughs> troy aikman uh joe buck you're not catching that type of energy you know what i mean it, no, it's just go, not happening they go above and beyond man they love their their football so when they yes, get to announce those uh, nfl games man they bring all that energy that's pretty sick that's dope that's real. We should, we should catch some broadcasts. A little different way to watch a football game when you have money on your, the line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's your alternative broadcast. I don't know broadcast. what's going on. Right, 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 right. You have no concept, no context. All you're doing is catching visuals. You have no storylines. You have nothing, just visuals. It's a whole different thing, bro. That's crazy. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize. I've never been to Mexico. I've never been on one of those luxurious trips, but... Um, uh, it was cool. It, it was cool. Then I didn't know that they wouldn't even have uh, any English channel or at least, uh, you know. It was a, they, they had TNT. Reading. They had TNT, but TNT would literally play. Uh, they had TNT on one other channel, but they would literally be one movie that you know that would come on tnt usa blah 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 but it would be in spanish after that was over the next movie that came on bad boys 2 whatever would be in english so it would alternate oh that's weird right and it was the different channel that did the same thing but it was only these two so literally you're not catching nothing in english all the other movie channels, everything was translated straight to Spanish with the overdubbed, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, even when they try to do a movie dubbing over a voice, I'm telling you, they go extra with the with the personality on the voice for real. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, we uh, if you if anybody's out there listening to us live right now, y'all need to uh, hit up a we're not doing that right now. I'll tell you that. Um, oh. <laughs> We need to hit us up with some chats because uh, evidently we just getting some spam up in this mother right now. <laughs> oh, well, see you, know, that, I mean, you know what? They got you, know you what, in the background uh, playing the chicken dance. They're like, no, nah, we out of here. You know, they're looking for Sister 19 at LOL Online or whatever right now. What the hell's going on with wow. this? Wow. Uh, you got the good, uh, the good, uh, uh, yeah, see, so you got the good, the good you know, catfishing and. Yeah. Trying to they looking for looking me. for trying to get you to click on a link for a yeah, date. Yeah, we mean about that some, life. We're talking some, some deep pills, a little something. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know, man. I don't pay no attention to you. There's two things you can't pay attention to if you're trying to step into this arena. And we gonna do this, man. You can't be paying to them chat, and you can't pay attention to a damn uh, comment section, bro. What you need, what we need to get large, and you have somebody read that shit, and they just filter through to us the shit that's that, that, that's valid, that's legit, that's somebody. Yep, and that's real. that's what we're trying to attempt to make sure. See yeah, if you know what I mean. So we can see yeah. if it works this way. Then you know we get somebody to filter that to us, which you know get in the works, and that's how it works. But uh, how know, many hey, times have you ever chatted? Have you chatted on a broadcast in your life? Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a few times attempted. Okay, uh, I've done it once. Put, I've literally put in a done comment it. Once. Anyways, this shit goes so fast, bro. Yeah, I mean, you when can't you're really up and shit, see all of them, right? Yeah, you catch a good topic. I don't even see mine. You know, what right. I mean? it's just it's just going, and I'm like, okay, it's it's large. I don't understand why it's there. To be honest with you, because who's really reading it unless there's a transcript that you can go back and look at? Right? right? Wouldn't that be dope? I mean, if yeah, you or like you said, the you have somebody there put to... out the content. Like you said, you have somebody there to uh, mitigate it or whatever and look through it exactly. and kind of pull the good ones if you could do that at the same time. So mm-hmm. pull the comments, some of those, because, you know, a lot of that shit is just gibberish is a gibberish anyways. And people like, get on their own. They want to start their own side topics and the, yeah. the whole thing. Start talking about your T-shirt. You got something in your nose. You know what I mean? A T-shirt. Yeah. Talking about our T-shirt right here. Uh, <laughs> Well, hey, everyone, we're already a few minutes in here, but don't check out this YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Subscribe. All also, that. don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show on whichever podcast platform you listen to. Go to thisisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. Grab some merch like this shirt right here. If you can see it. 
while you're there. That's so, the uh, whole nine. You know what I mean? And a whole bunch of other stuff from the Funner family. Follow me on Twitter at Stick015. Follow this guy, and I'll big homie at homie underscore anonymous. Yeah, brother, good to have you back, man. You know, all put together, you know, the aches and pains are coming back, like you said a little bit. That's why the uh, that's whack. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why the uh freaking uh warm weather is good for your old bones. My old but you bones. know, you know what else goes along with that is once you gone for and, and we was blessed to be able to go seven days, right? So you gone for seven days, immediately it's like boom, you're back into the cycle. You know what I mean? It's like it's like jumping double dutch or trying to <laughs> yeah. jump on jump on a, a treadmill that's already running. You know what I mean? So it's like, damn shit. What's what was what's Tuesday's events? What's Wednesday? What's Wednesday's <laughs> event? What pops off on a Wednesday? So you know what I mean? So that was right. So I jumped right back into it, man. Trying to get back into this groove, man. But shoot, as long as I can stay physically feeling good, man. I'm telling you, man. I, I got a lot of a uh, lot of ideas and thoughts, man. We gonna that we're gonna try to flesh some of this out too. Hey, good. Well, I'm glad uh, you're back safe. You know, I thought for sure I wouldn't uh, at least not see your ass for a couple of weeks. I thought you might have been uh, locked down in in Mexico. You know, you know how I go. They try, they, they try to, yeah, they'll try to put a case <laughs> on you. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking of federalities, uh, U.S. <laughs> customs. I always have a problem with them U.S. customs coming back. I'm like, dude, I got an ID. I live here. <laughs> Run away. You know, you know me. It, it, it just always seems to be like a oh, search step to the side is a room over here for you. What? Hey, step aside, man. You know how my luck is at the freaking airports, dog. Every freaking time we travel, <laughs> get frisked, get patted down, get the uh, searched. Man, every freaking time I always get pulled away. And I'm only trying to go to Vegas, dog. Don't I look like I'm not? I'm You're not, that guy. I'm You're harmless. that guy. <laughs> armless with the vegas trip and i, oh. I get, you know pulled aside I, there's shit i need to do before i get on an airplane i can't be hanging out in a in a little room waiting for a security officer to come and check my bag and check my pockets and check my belt and check my shoes i got places to be and things to do i got parlay cars to fill out you know what i mean that's right i ain't got time for all that we gotta get to bit we gotta get down to business a couple of cold cold beverages before i get on that plane you know to oh man nerve. see i didn't even tell you about that that's a whole nother story i'm trying to tell you day one okay so we leave tuesday in the morning and like i said we was blessed to be able to go first class right so we sit in the front it's early in the morning nine o'clock they're already serving hard a of course i'm gonna partake i haven't drunk for a minute because i'm taking medications and whatnot boy that first day I don't even know what happened. I'm talking about from nine, whatever time we got on the airplane to going to sleep and waking up the next morning, man. The day is gone. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Yo, that was just all I heard to get the liver ready, to get everything ready to roll, get in that vacation mode. Boy. Nothing wrong with that, my dog. Man, after that, everything was smooth sailing after that. <laughs> you don't like, you don't never want to hear somebody say, hey, you know what you did last night? Damn! When you start off a sentence like that, I go, "No, I really don't." <laughs> I wish I did, and I don't want you to tell me. Yo. And it, <laughs> hey, it's well worth it when you're on vacation. All oh, everything man. you, you want to do, you do, bro. Ain't nothing yes, wrong with sir. that. So, hey, what we miss? I mean, a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, we get a lot of little bit of stuff to talk about. You know, I want to talk about a little bit of MLB since the Hall of Fame just started. We have a lot of NFL to start to talk about. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta know before we get started, though, homie. Do you have a, a NBA and sixty or less for these guys? You don't have to do it now, but do you have something for them just in case I have to ask? Not yet. Not I mean, if, if if somebody, if, I mean, if everybody want to know what happened, I could probably tell you. Okay, we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm a, I, I love the you. NBA minute because I Come haven't on. had a chance to keep up with the NBA, so I need to know. I need to know what's going on. You know, it's almost All Star break for them. I what mid Feb. So there you go. We'll see what happens. But have we, I know we've had this on our notes for a while. Have we ever even, did we ever uh, fire this up to the people? We might have two weeks hmm. ago. I can't remember. But when New York turned on gambling and immediately everybody oh. was on those apps, 5.8 million bets in the first 12 hours. Yeah. What the fuck is Washington waiting for? We might have that. Sounds like stupid. 
sounds like I've I've said that last week. I'm not sure. I think or two weeks ago. I mean, we might have said it, but that's just I don't know. I think you, I think the one you hit him with was a uh, jersey. You had a jersey, oh, number. jersey one, and this one wasn't like. Your jersey number was like over a time period, I think. This okay. one was 12 hours. New York just got it. Literally just got it. They didn't have the switch. Because they still had to go to uh, Mohegan Sun and places like that and go to Jersey to All place right. bets on the legal side where uh, Chris Christie, the governor over there, already had it popping over there. He was one of the first, actually. And um, 12 hours. I don't even care nothing about that. I just don't understand. Million in bets in 12 hours. What do you mean? How much revenue is involved in that? So how much interest is there? And I know that's New York. I understand that. I'm not saying that flipping the switch in Washington is going to create that amount of revenue because it's not right. But look at how much activity was there. Why would it not be like that easy? Well, in, uh, I see if I get these numbers, right. All I know is I saw some numbers that was, uh, New York, Nevada, and then Pennsylvania. Those three states, I believe, uh, maybe the start of this year or maybe it was December. Either way, that was the order. And everyone had a, every one of those had a B in front of it for, uh, bet, for uh, wagers placed or whatever. In f- for, the, for those states, top three, it was like, Freaking, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I think I just had it. It was what, how much, uh, how much playing or how much play has been made in those states combined? Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, it was. And they, they were all in the billions. And, uh, oh, yeah, come on. Okay. I don't it, even but New have York to. just turned it on and they were in the billions. That's what I'm saying. So, that's just crazy. And I, like I said, the, the thing that bothers me is I don't understand why you would do it turn it on right which okay sports gambling is legal in providence state of washington yes you can walk into a facility why does it have to be all these different mandates like it's like buying a lottery ticket like we've been saying why are you doing it like this if it's only two five places total right why you're not giving your people access right say it once because w- when I go to Bet GM or DraftKings or whatever, what state do you live in? If I lived in the right state, that shit would start working immediately. That's all I'm saying. So we need everybody out there to help us with this and get into your connections or whoever you know or whatever you know or your computer get riled up and let us know what the hell's going on because I want to know why in Washington, if it's legal, that you have to be on the premises because like you said, it's subsidized to just the the tribal land. So it's subsidized to just there where you have to actually be there to That's- bet, to go and do it. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchases, over prohibited by law, 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered ChumbaCasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I get That's it the that, deal. I get it that you get to be, that it's the way to get people into their building. Like, I understand that. But mm-hmm. look, if Washington has obviously all this debt that they need to get back i mean they did it with the the marijuana how it you know started yeah. and making money right and so with the sports betting if i i guarantee you that if it was legal on a phone and not have to be there washington would be a number one in the top five when it goes live as well like what the hell are they waiting for i just don't understand it's crazy. There's there's people out here fiending for it, right? 
Yeah. Not us, of course. We don't, you know, we don't do that. But no. Uh, you know, placing responsible hard. wagers out here. That's right. Very responsible. And, but no, it, it, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. The thing that is, is that you hit on is the deal was cracked with the indigenous peoples up here for it to funnel through then. So I think they don't have the infrastructure to provide a book. That's why you, all of these places like Kurt Spot and these other spots, they got to partner up with well-known names, FanDuel and blah, 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 who's an actual book, right? Right. But they need to be able to negotiate all wagers paid or placed in the state of Washington, whatever they charge commission. The, you know what I mean? They got to, they got to folk, they got to shave off a slice of that. So they get that money just like a, uh, like a, a set fee, right? They got to get a set amount of money and then open the door. The reason why they don't want to open the door because they think that FanDuel, DraftKings, whoever these partnerships are, is going to make more money than they are. You know what I mean? They uh, want to hold on yeah. to the, they want to hold on to the funnel, right? So I think that they need to go, all right, look, you give us, I don't know, what's a good number, 50 million, 100 million a year. Um, and then that's just perpetuity, whatever. And we'll still keep our location, right? You got to have a b- brick and mortar, right? But you flip it and let's just watch the revenue come in. Revenue will be running wild for sure. Yo, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it is so crazy. Uh, Let's get into some more sports gambling later. But, uh, hey, are we really going to have an Olympics to start in less than a week? Because they're having issues already. Quarantining. They're literally locking these fools down. Oh, work? I mean, you heard that. Uh, Yeah, they're already, like, you know, testing them everywhere. I think there's already been a couple uh, um, athletes. I don't remember what country that tested positive, you know, Mm. quarantine them, ship them out, stuff like that. Uh, There hasn't been a lot of talk about it. That's what scares me. Right. You haven't seen a lot yeah. of talk about the Olympics that start in less than a week and, yeah. you know, good or bad news rolling in and rolling out of there. So we'll see if that even goes down and how long it goes down. Um, it's going to be, I mean, it's, it's probably out. not, it's probably not all that bad. I mean, it, I mean, they just, they held an Olympics not too long ago over there last year without it, without a hitch really, or two years ago now, but without a hitch really. And people aren't getting sick. They just got to have this little protocol of waiting and all of this. They still going to put all of that kind of thing in place for testing and all of that. It's not a situation anymore where you could just go over to an Olympic venue or city, hosting city, do your thing, go out, tourism, the whole thing, and meet people from different countries. That's not even the thing no more. Now it's just performing the event, right, until we get through all of this you know, situation with passing disease back and forth to each other until that's no longer an issue on a major scale where it's getting people sick and affecting hospitals or whatever. It's literally just going to be doing the event. There's going to be no fans, no this, no that, you know? So yeah, they'll still put, they'll still put it on. They'll find a way to put it on. Even if the best athletes aren't there, they're not going to cancel it at this point. Yeah. Well, like I said, a week away. Let's go. Let's get a little fired up for the U.S. of A. We need a better medal count than uh, the last Olympics, and they need to get those golds up in uh, up in there, right? What was the medal? Yeah, yeah, we, hey, yeah, you're right, but we ain't got enough cold spots in our country for us to really compete, right? You know what I mean? So I, I always, when it, when it comes down to the Winter Olympics. You know, I like to see somebody because we've had some names out there for a bunch of years. You know, that people know that did well out there. Follow I, Ono. I'm just in it. I'm just in it for the bobsled, man, and the luge and the skeleton. I want to see some jackass type shit. I want to see some Super Dave type shit. I want to see some that looks like a stunt, you know, or the ski jump where they be leaned over like uh, like Michael Jackson. That's what I want to see. Those fuckers fly on that Yo. jump, man. You ain't even get, you ain't get me on skis, let alone you ain't get me to do no jumping. No, uh, not at the, all. Hey, I did hear the Jamaican bobsled team finally uh, qualified. Uh, they've never qualified for the Olympics. Oh, word? Yeah. I know that they were still trying to keep it going, and they kept the, a team in place. They yeah. just never really competed. Never so, wow, it. that's dope. 
So, hey, let's look into some uh, Olympic events that we're going to have to look into over the next week. And we'll uh, check it out when we do next week, see what we got going on with that. Uh, One Olympic event is the NHL. Well, not the NHL, but uh, hockey. And the NHL, still, I haven't heard. I don't think they're still having a – They ain't doing it. They ain't sending players over. Nope. But uh, our Kraken are 14 and 25, baby. They've won – Four and two in the last six. Yeah. Time to and, start and, and the best part, and here's the best part. Everybody is, I, I, I've heard some of the chatter out there with everybody tripping who think that they die hard cracking fans right now, right? We're sports guys. We're sports jokers. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. These dudes are fine. It's the first year. It's the inaugural year. We're not going to catch a lightning bolt like, we, like they did in Vegas. It's not going to happen like that because it's not the, how it happens. Here we go. They're undefeated against the best team. They beat the Florida Panthers both times. Hey, they you have. know what I'm saying? You got to relax, okay? They're just, as a whole, it's just going to build, you know what I mean? And they got some stuff, ish, but I'm telling you, they're going to make you that money, though. <laughs> yes, if sir. you listen up, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, they, make, they will make you that money, though. Those boys play hard out there. They just got a lot of holes. And, uh, and if you're on the analytics side with the over-unders with totals and first periods. It's a fun trip. You know what I mean? There's something to be had there. Yeah, well, uh, what's today? Friday? So tomorrow, Saturday, early morning game, homie. Better get your head right, 11 a.m. And then Sunday, early morning game, 10 a.m., I believe. So we need yeah, to there, were, there were two times they played a dead under, uh, under team and – no, one was a dead under team and one was a neutral team. And those were the two games that went under uh, a week and a half ago. But other than that, 24 out of 37 on the over That's season crazy. to date. Only 13 games have not gone uh, over. Yeah. You know and I'm saying that went the under. Out of those 13, that was like one, two, three four counting last night four of the last like 10 so you're still at 60 percent um after that so yeah. like you said homie we just need to start throwing the, the the blind money out there and roll with it because uh the odds are it'll actually, balance out balance out yeah for sure yeah all right homie well if you got anything for the nba let's hear it oh it's not much that happens in the nba that's what i'm saying i, would, I could be gone and, <laughs> and we you... built up two weeks, okay, two weeks worth of uh, potential what would be some NBA news, and there's nothing to see here, okay? But 60 seconds or less, I could probably I could tell you exactly what's going on. So January 26th, of course, sad day. You know what I mean? Two years since the GOAT to L.A., R.I.P. Kobe. But I wish he could help the Lakers. Whatever they doing ain't working. Okay. The Memphis Grizzlies, Cleveland Cal- Cavaliers, man, they shaking stuff up. Number three, number four on their potential sides. I don't even understand what's going on. The Splash Brothers are back, and it's official. 11 three-point field goals combined in a game. They're back to their old shenanigans, and it's easy for them. NBA players, of course, they never want to fight. As they say, the, all the smoke, they don't want none of it. Even when a fight breaks out, at least look like you want to fight somebody out there, okay? James Harden, I don't think he signed up for Kevin Durant getting hurt again and Kyrie playing I don't know when, okay? He ain't feeling it. Charlotte Hornets, look at them. 158 points in a game. That's the franchise high all time. Look, the Hornets, I don't even know. Lonzo Ball, LeVar Ball, never lost, okay? NBA All-Star starters, they got announced. Um, it was West Coast Curry, you know this LeBron, you know this Joke it, it is what it is Ja Morant, balling out and Andrew Wiggins this is why it might be longer than a minute right here because this dramatic pause is crazy <laughs> over Devin Booker though. over Devin Booker, this is wild Okay, and in the East Coast of course you got Giannis uh, DeMar DeRozan Kevin Durant, I don't know. That's probably going to be a fill-in type situation. I don't know what they're going to do, but he got the votes. And B, Trey Young, okay, who you got? 
Me? Yeah. Who you? Who would you have? Real quick, just the who starters. Would... Who got the better starters? Who got the better starting five? Oh well, uh, you would. I would say. Since Booker's not in, I'd go with Trey Run- Trey Young side. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't know. Uh, Giannis, it, 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 LeBron is washed. We know this, and it's just so. It's basically just Curry, Jokic, and John Morant, and Andrew Wiggins. John Morant is balling though, like you said. He, I do like the, him a that's lot. That's the truth. That's the truth. Oh, and here it is. This is the top piece of the resistance. Okay, but, well. Don't waste your time looking at the jerseys. The jerseys are whack. But here's the piece of resistance. Look at my man out here, J.R. Smith, getting money. Two-time NBA All-Star champion playing golf for a college. <laughs> yep. And signed an NIL deal like he don't got money. No way. Way to, way to get to the bag, dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like you. That ain't he even not NBA. sign an NIL deal. <laughs> he really did? Uh, he did. Word up. With who? Uh, you know, it's not like a, so, you know, so it's some, just, it, yeah, it's a dot com computer oh, situation. I think they do crazy. uh research management uh, maneuvers of some type. Hopefully, on the legal, on the up and up. But he still found his way to the money. I like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he's a college student, like a Starbucks college student. I mean, he got bags. Hopefully, in the in the bank sitting. <laughs> no, that's crazy. I... Uh, you got to use you got to use the rules that are out there. Hey, that's they're out there for a reason, and they're gonna get give people money. Might as well be him, I guess. If he's yeah. has the opportunity to get it, the more the merrier. <laughs> I thought that was why. Hey, but but look, though, at the same time, why is TNT giving money to Draymond Green to whenever you're not playing a game during the NBA season, come sit at this desk? You want a contract for? You want some money for that? Word. What? That, that's serious on everything. What is? It? I don't understand how he can get two bags for an, uh, uh, doing for analyzing his sport <laughs> and playing his sport when he's not at, really at playing the, at that right. time. Is he a hurt or just when he's no, hurt? It's, it's when he's available, I'm guessing. So I don't know if this is a since he's not an all star that maybe he can do some all star work. Or I mean, because the you're the, not thinking the Warriors are going to be in it all season. I mean, what is that? Right. I mean, is he going to go and record or fly to Atlanta with Shacknam uh, on a day off? Right. He doesn't have to practice. He just has to show up and play. Maybe that's the case. Make a little extra money on the side. Not like the not like they're they the NBA players get underpaid or whatever. I mean. That's what I'm saying. It's just like people are just handing out money now. It is. Yeah. Uh, well, where's our where's our money at? That's, 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 that that's where I was going next. Throw, I mean, throwing <laughs> side piece over here. Yeah. We don't even need all that, but hey, every little bit helps. That's for damn sure. Man, throw some money into some production, and, and, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and infrastructure. You know, what I mean? Thanks, we do that. Hundred percent. I'll be looking just like these fools over here. <laughs> I, got, I got better writing than them, better jokes than them. Yeah, you know I mean, we got better segments than them. Come on, man. And we're the one that gives them all the segments and how to fix things and how to do things. Hey, you know, speaking of uh let's roll into let's roll into a little MLB real quick, homie. Yeah, you, you, got to. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to. I know I hope that was where you had on your mind because man, this is getting damn ridiculous unbelievable what is going on in the mlb lockout obviously still going on they got to play huh i heard that they're in there's a they're playing they're just arguing over dollars right now somebody's going high and somebody's going low and they know a deal is going to get made they're just trying to figure out where exactly where they're, the they're gonna play yeah they're right. gonna miss well, the they, season they better not they better quit fucking around and make it happen um robot umpires and in triple a dude what in the what in the hell why the, why the fuck not i mean to be honest with you because nobody wants to see robot umpires dude you don't need a you don't need a robot umpire bro you just need nobody behind the damn catcher right and the back wall does it you know what i mean with all the technology right and it's just put up somewhere look at how much we come on there will they be analyzing the head the tip of a football 
to whether it touched a blade of grass to determine whether somebody was down or not in the slowest motion by frame by frame for football, dude, that'd be the simplest thing you can do. You put another umpire okay, out in the field. That put is another different. umpire on the field. That is different than umpiring balls and strikes in a baseball game. Baseball game I mean, is I feel you, but... meant to be natural. And yeah, I know. Humanized. I feel you. Okay? So, I feel you. I don't want to – okay, why Why would they go from low A, low A ball that three years ago when they had the robot umpires mm. to skip A, to skip uh, double A, and go straight to triple A now? If they we, really going to try to use it. They really want to re- see if it works. Are they really, though, or are they just making a mockery of this bullshit? Because when – all year they talk about the umpires and they, they rate these umpires throughout the year, right? In the major leagues. How are you right. supposed to get better umpires in the major league baseball when they can't even officiate and or they can't even call balls and strikes in AAA now? Because they're trying sense. to they're trying to tell them if you don't get better on a human determination level, these guys is coming. The Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming. You know what I'm saying? The molten lava steel dude is coming. You know what I'm saying? The Terminator is on the way. Then they do it better than you. They don't die. And then you have nobody to argue at. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I'm telling you. That's what because it's already coming. It's gonna happen. Right? Because that's the natural evolution to the game. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? <sighs> Ooh, a book club. <sighs> Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Aim to solve just the hit to make hitting equal but i see what you're saying because it is supposed to be shades of inches and eyeballs and things that you could play with people outside but if they just say look this is a mandated strike zone <laughs> mandate <laughs> this is a strike zone right <laughs> all these damn buzzwords buzzwords covid created anyway but um a strike zone and you're still a pitcher you're still a hitter i just know what the strike zone is and I just got to keep throwing. You know what I mean? Hey, shout out. Trey Henderson is live with us right now. Well, live on the stream with us. Now we need to get that phone line working. We can just have people call in and Holler. continue with this conversation that we have going on right now, because I want to know what people's thoughts are on the, the, the robot umpires and AAA. It just doesn't make any sense. There's no way. There's no way in the right minds. And we're going to get into this in a second, too, because the right minds of MLB are, I mean, in my opinion, are not the right minds right now. Because, you know, you just had David Ortiz go into the Hall of Fame, right? But you have no Bonds, no Clemens, no Pete Rose. MLB's all-time hit leader, Pete Rose. All-time home run leader, Bonds. All-time Cy Young leader, Clemens. No matter what you think of them off the field, if you're in a baseball, how do you have a Hall of Fame with, baseball players that don't a hall of fame of baseball that don't have the greatest players in it doesn't make any sense no it's the dumbest thing i've ever heard of and, and all the, the reason for that is because who determines who goes in that's all it is 
I'm telling you. This is the wildest thing in the world. Okay. They, are these it, the same people that are that are rooting for the 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 robot umpires, in my opinion? I mean, you would think it'd be uh, opposite. You would think they would you be gotta the... relax with the robot umpire situation <laughs> because you sound like somebody's granddad, like with a phone with a wire that's plugged into a wall that's like 20, 30 feet long, dragging it through his house. You just you, pull you it right over. Nah, this ain't gonna work nowadays. But I'm telling you, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. These baseball writers, right? that vote for the Hall of Fame, they could vote for whoever the hell they want to, right? I went back and looked at this shit, and this is no lie. You could back me. Anybody can go look this shit up. There's a sports writer that put B.J. Serhoff from the Milwaukee Brewers, okay? Old-ass catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's probably old now. Might even be our age. I don't know, probably a little older, but you know what I'm saying? Old-school cat, right? Put him on a ballot because they went to school in the same area. They grew up in the same area. He said, I would throw you on my ballot one day if you ever was on there and blah, blah, blah. So this is the kind of shit that goes on, okay? It's an old school ass, you know, fedora with a press ticket thing, black and white with a suit looking like Darren Stevens type of situation. And these are the people voting for the thing and uh, yeah it's, it's stupid because Barry Bonds just had 70 some percent and was about to get in same thing with Roger Clemens now they got less this is wild this is a good question from uh Trent Hindu here 24 at Trent Hindu 24 on Twitter how come no one has come out to defend their non-votes and then why would they not tell us why they can't well okay first of all his question was how come no one has come out to defend their non-votes that's his question people and people do all the question. time yeah people do all the time but it ain't i haven't heard of it. them though it's only no. like one dude it's one dude one name that you heard of who's got the cojones enough to say yeah i did and here's my reason why but you don't say nothing to him because he's been on that this whole time but who well, are the other dudes is what you want who you want to know and in a way you just pretty much you pretty much said that too because you said the dude that voted for or Mark BJ Surhoff on his on his yeah. ballot, right? And yeah. oh dang it, I just had this up too. What was it? You can vote up to 10, right? Is that what it is? You can vote up to 10, I think. Yeah, there is a or number. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I you can vote up to 10, is. but they don't even use all their votes a lot of times and they don't understand. Right. And a lot of them, you know, will post it. Oh, I post this. It's almost like they make a mockery out of it. It, yeah, I mean. How many are there? 103 or something like that? 108? Is that right? Uh, uh, voters that vote and they just have some nonsense uh, agenda when they do it. How do you fix that? We need to work on that too, homie. We need to fix that for the MLB Hall of Fame. I don't know. I mean, it's worse over here in baseball, which is cold blooded because this is the national pastime. So it gives you like this old you know what I'm saying, gone with the wind type of vibe going on, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some old-ass rules going on here because they even tried to do the shit to T.O., but they put T.O. in. They got Barry Bonds on some, oh, well, uh, yeah, he acted like an asshole in the clubhouse. And, um, yeah, man, he got caught up in this clear scandal. Hey, you know, right? Right. Real but quick. you got oh, you got uh big big poppy hey big poppy you know what I'm saying <laughs> and big poppy everybody loves big poppy he was wrapped up in the Mitchell report name was in the Mitchell report but he is in like a mug and shout out to big poppy I'm not even mad at you because you deserve that shit baby but yo I, there's no way <laughs> there's no way come on I'm not even talking to him. if you still want to do the Pete Rose thing with 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 people I feel you MLB if you want to hold that hold that because the commissioner ended up dying after that dude y'all want to stick to y'all guns do that but man these dudes played the game put a pl- man we done said it before put a plaque up and said you think that they did it or they had one positive test they don't give a fuck they in there how you not have the home run leader up in there and how do you not have barry bonds up in there i don't hey, even give a damn real, if the home run I'm leader gonna... wasn't barry bonds if he wasn't him how do you not have barry bonds in there? Hey, shout out to Trey Hindu. He's he's keeping us on point right now in this chat here. Uh, 397 members vote. So I was a little off. It's a gang of people, man. I'm telling yeah, you. 397 members, 97 members vote. Uh, so and in, in 2020, Go ahead. In 2020, not all of them cast their ballots. And I was right. There was, they get to they get choose up to 10. Yeah. So, 
Uh, shout out Trent. He's, hey, our baseball guru comes through for us. We appreciate Dude, we it. We should have had him on here right now. That's what I'm there's saying. A way should, to get him on here. We should get him on here. Dive, dive right in. But yeah, there's. I mean, there's people who have said that they think the whole thing is bull- bullshit, and then they end up joking it off. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, hold radio well, contests for it and shit like that. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a it's a the way that this done is whack. It's all about who is voting. Now, maybe it should be like a committee like the NFL, right, where it's just a little committee, not this whole sports writer situation. Maybe if you want to pick some sports writers, some respectable guys, I feel that. But, yeah, this whole baseball writers of America get to you know, say, come on, what do you know? I mean, you're in Albuquerque. You know what I mean, you cover the Dukes, and because that's baseball, and you're a writer, and you're in America, you're a baseball writer of America. Now you're voting for the Hall of Fame, and I'm not feeling that. Well, speaking of, uh, you know, Barry Bonds, and this we were talking about that just a second ago, right? And 14 time All Star, seven time NL, NL MVP, eight time Gold Glove, 12 time Silver Silver Slugger, 762 career home runs, obviously the leader. Uh, walks leader at 25-58 and 73 single season home run leader. Only player with 500 home runs and 500 stolen bases. I mean, that, and that's just Barry Bonds. I mean, you want me to go on Roger Clemens, bro? A Cy Young on every team he played for. And he played for the damn Red Sox, damn it, the uh, 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 Blue Jays, the, uh, the Texas uh, uh, Houston Rockets, the Houston Rockets, Houston Astros, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and somebody in between that I'm missing. Damn, the, the Yankees. The, I forgot I missed the, the Yankees. Yankees, right? They want to Cy Young damn everywhere. Come on. You disrespecting this, man? Come on, man. I don't give a damn. What's going on, dude? This dude was—he played till he was forty something. I like messing. I like we like Both messing around. Like, yeah, we messed around. I think last a couple of years ago, Stupid, we did the all-time man. team. And we were talking about Bonds, and I was hater, of course. I was, you know, uh, trying to stir up some some nonsense with y'all, but um, you gotta do it now at this time. There's no reason why he shouldn't be in there. And, and with the numbers you give, with all the 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 stats and everything, and you. You want a Hall of Fame to represent your your brand of baseball, don't you? Exactly. And, you know, then and the accolades that these players put in the hard work and and the the dedication to do over these years, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like it's it just seems like almost like a mockery in, in, at this point. And that and now you're still holding a grudge against Pete Rose and sports betting when now betting is legal every well not everywhere but is being legalized i mean i don't i don't understand it i mean it, 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 it's wild i mean if you're going to operate your hall of fame like it's a club on bellevue way with a velvet rope right because what happens is you start seeing people go in before these people that you're holding out right and now you're loosening up the criteria when you're talking about the greatest already. You know what I mean? The greatest can't get in the club. But, I mean, shout out. Much respect. You big Bobby. Okay? But you're letting him in and still not Barry Bonds. And I forgot who got in last year. But anyway, Jeter got in. He certified a couple years ago. And, you know what I'm saying? Big Poppy first ballot. No waiting. Okay? I mean, I understand we're getting, we're getting into an era that's kind of that people are coming up you know what i mean because a rod ain't gonna get in you know what i mean so no, we're getting it we're getting into this era to where it's like you know some marginal players people are gonna start thinking about because i just seen a i wish i had it you probably got it sitting in front of you of who's up next year yeah next man year. i looked at the man these dudes ain't even an all-star squad <laughs> everything that i love these dudes are not an all-star squad i'm gonna try to pull it up right damn now. I, I got you i got you right here carlos beltron john lackey jared weaver jacoby ellsbury matt kane johnny peralta jason worth jj hardy mike Na- mike napoli aaron hill r.a dickey carlos ruiz francisco rodriguez 
What are we talking about here? I wait a minute. I thought I saw Bartolo Colon. Though. I would slide him in there, though. <laughs> I would find a way to slide Bartolo Colon. Maybe Bartolo Colon is still he's still looking for that uh, MLB comeback. At yo, I could have sworn I saw him on one of these on one of these lists that I was looking at earlier. But um, but yeah, come on, man. I mean, be honest with yourself. You just read that off. Did you did you see a name that you guarantee would pick number one if we was picking squads? Right, damn now? No, not at all. Come on. This is where the game, we're in this little gray area with the game right now. You know what I'm saying? Next, you're going to be talking about Robinson Cano. You know what I mean? This is who we're going to start talking about names like this. You know what I mean? Where's Ichiro at? Ichiro, Ichiro is not eligible yet. Or no. is he already in? He damn better uh, be in immediately. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm not playing with these people. They, they, their, their whole motive and the way that they're operating is whack. You know what I'm saying? If they didn't pull OJ Simpson's shit out of the Football Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? This whole thing is wild, bro. That, it yeah. is dumb. <laughs> I think stupid. that I, I I 100% agree with you. Now that we get into all that and stuff that we didn't even get a chance to really research, we just decided we wanted to talk about it because you know had some stuff going on, but we wanted to, we do. to touch it up. So hey, and, and I would like don't make us go back to our our stats that we pulled up when we were doing the all time teams that we did last year or two years ago and pulled up why we would have our, uh, MLB, uh, greatest team. Remember that when we did that mm-hmm. the, right after the last episode or all oh, the two, the two all, the uh, all time fantasy lineups. We all did time, head head. Yeah. All time. fantasy oh, lineup. Come on. That was yeah. hard, bro. Yeah. That hard. was hard. We had all the stats and the numbers. We know what's up. Uh, one last thing I want to close out the baseball talk with is uh shout out to Trent again, Trent Hindu 24 uh, what you RIP to his pops, but his pops did say that Barry was Hindu. the best hitter he's ever seen. Dave In Hindu his Hindu life. Hindu. Dave Hindu who, Henderson said that Barry Bonds is the best hitter he ever seen. Who I saw with the cold ass trot in the Boston Red Sox uniform versus the Angels back in the day. Just trot after he hit that damn thing. I'm going to take his word over all of y'all idiots. Come on, man. He's been doing this for mad years. Shout out. Rest in peace. Big Hindu, man. I'm trying to tell you, they, they don't understand what the old school guys saw what was going on with Junior and Barry Bonds. Way ahead of the game. All the old school dudes saw them shit, saw these dudes coming. And we haven't had a consistent dude like this since. I mean, we, I mean, Chipper, I mean, what are we going to be talking about? Chipper like this? Chipper's not in the category with these dudes. I don't, I don't understand. We got, <laughs> we got yeah, it's, this uh, MLB oh, Hall of Fame is very interesting. So, all right, well, let's move on. We got yeah. a lot of NFL to talk about. So, when you ready, homie, kick it off. Can I kick it? You can kick it. Let's go. Because I know you're yes, out. You I had to watch the NFL in Espanol this weekend. And oh. I was up here doing all the work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're one of those situations, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations that anybody would love to be in. You want to watch this game. You want to be plugged in. But you're also on vacation. And you also want to get plugged into that. Uh, but I was able to, you know, catch a, some satellites here and there, plug in an earphone and air, earbud, get something popping. Man, that damn uh, wild card week was damn crazy as hell first. OK, but and then now we're talking about or the divisional week, I should say, was crazy as hell. And uh, oh, man, I, I don't even know where to start with any of this, though, but well, they it, all three of the four games ended in a field goal win last minute field goal win. I mean, this shit is wild, dude. Dude, And the sit they're, they're situational, though. So like every game had it was literally like there was a potential for as the game is winding down, touchdown to win, field goal to win. There was no, there was only one, you know, there was nobody that ran away with the game. And even as the Rams were running away from Tom Brady, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know what I mean? And I'm sitting up here going, something's about to happen. And then right after I said that, because I said they're not going to let Tom Brady go out like this, 
ball flies over Matt Stafford's head. I go, oh my God, fumble. Oh my God. Oh, fumble. Oh, my what the God. hell is what going, is on, going on around here? Keep cooking. Keep cooking because I called it. And my wife, she was like, well, why don't they just say that? It's like WWE. I said, because I, it's probably really not. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to. Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I mean, because... <sighs> would you bet on a WWE match? Knowing that they're they they have they have they, cooked up the outcome. No, absolutely not. That's what I'm saying. It's a hard way to go, man. But I'm telling you, it's they making that shit look a little wild. When you it was I mean? twenty to three at halftime, when the mm-hmm. Bucks were down twenty to three at halftime, you freaking knew what was going to happen, homie. We already knew what was going to happen in the second half. Yeah, it good one with us. And but then and then see, look, I said, oh man, shoot, if I was plugged in, I should put in the number and tell him to get in on the other side on Tampa Bay. But I'm out doing events, whatever. But Rams get the ball after the for a second half kickoff. Trot the ass right down there. Touchdown. I go, oh, maybe this might be happening. <laughs> okay. I said, oh. Are we gonna do it like this? I'm glad I didn't put that call in. Damn it, they didn't see a damn thing else after that. And man, if we would have went the other way like we were supposed to, you know, that would have that that cash is easy. But I couldn't believe all the events that led up to that game coming down to the way that it did. Fournette trotting up in there, and he could have closed that. Man, come on! If he would have took a knee and they ran another play, they would have the Rams wouldn't have had the. That we'd have the time to get the Cooper Cup situation popping. So was it all about Cooper Cup? (laughs) Damn. Well, and that was a lot of thing with the time too, right? And uh, a lot of people talk about uh, the coaching and then the time. Remember the Vrabel and Belichick going back and forth uh, with the last year (laughs) and their penalties going back. Two years ago, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two years ago or whatever. Yeah. And then. and then you got, you know, the, 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 you said what, uh, Fournette scores and then they have time for the freaking Stafford to throw the 25 long bomb, which works every fucking time. I try to tell y'all. You Clearly. Know, oh, and before I get into the rest of it, how many pass interference flags did you see this weekend? I'm not a damn one. But see, I, the, I, was, I wasn't plugged in, so I didn't hear. I, I don't remember seeing a whole lot of pass interference flags when yep. uh, any other regular season game you, you can get away. So maybe they're letting these guys get away with a, a little bit more and not calling a lot of bullshit flags like that because I think that might have been part of the, the game plan. I mean, it, it, they haven't seen a pass interference, so – hey, maybe we're going to get one here in the last minute to get this game going with the Rams, right? And they threw it and made it and made it happen either way. Right, right, right. Because that, that was the measure, except for the play hit, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the writing. That was the written in script, except for the play hit anyway, and then bang, bang. But you notice that there's now two teams of refs on the field now. There's another team with just black jackets on that I found, that I noticed while... Oh, watching in Espanol. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's a there's just more refs out there. They think they're incognito, but you know them because they call other games. Well, pay attention this week, right? Championship week. I mean, pay attention this week. I'm telling you because there's I'm telling you at least eight refs. I don't know if they're reporting this out there, but I seen the the one girl Sarah Walsh. I think her name is. She had her same ponytail in the back, but she did not have one stripe. She had on a black jacket. She had the whole earpiece and the whole line. Ah, they, they so they out there, there is sketchy shit. It sounds like, homie. I don't. The, I, I mean, you know how I, I mean. Love you have it, the so you have the is. backup. You have the backup refs that are there, but I don't think the backup ref, if someone gets hurt, is actually on the sideline. This these people were interacting with the coaches. And well, yeah, the, they, and always the have, they always have the little uh, 
they always have those guys on there, but I didn't realize that there was more. I thought there was, I always see the one on the side. I don't know. You, I'm talking about refs that you know without stripes on and like just black jacket. Oh, without looking real stripes. incognito. Oh, yeah, I see. that's what I'm no, saying. I see that. Real incognito. The one brother I saw him, he was talking to a uh, uh, coach of uh, damn, what game was he on? It was the one I saw, so it had to be Tampa Bay. So the coach had to be uh, Bruce Arians. Arians. I'm telling you, he's standing, he's standing right there in the mix, striped guy, okay, Bruce Arians, and another guy whose face that you recommend not striped up in a black security looking jacket. Why are you pulling up conspiracy theories for the NFL script writers right now when you already know that they are already I mean, in hard work? I just, I just want them to know that I'm on. You're giving them a you heads up. I mean? You caught and on if, to their foolishness. I mean, they just got to get a better script situation together because I'm on it. Now, if, I, if I'm on it and I can dial up these measures and what I think is popping as the game flow goes on, I'll be able to make a little bit more scratch in the end. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, uh, well, before we start talking about the scratch, let's talk about – let's start with the uh, first game on on uh, Saturday. Cincinnati, our boy mm-hmm. Joe B, and uh, against Tennessee Titans, 19-16. Mm-hmm. to 16. That was one of the, uh, the games, right? Did we call that or did we not call that? I can't remember if we called that. I think we called the Cincinnati getting it done in this one. I think I did. At least I, at least I took the points. I yeah, know I, I like the points, and I think that yeah. you might have took Tennessee in that one. But – Hell no, nah, I wouldn't have took no t- – well, I mean, depending on what the number was, I don't remember what the number was, but I remember being indifferent about this game because – the whole Derrick Henry coming back situation, right? And I was like, oh, well, I don't know what this is going to be. Are they going to have a flow? They didn't have a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But neither did Cincinnati, which is the problem. Okay, so that's what I'm saying as we move on with Cincinnati. You got to keep an eye on them because their defense is is cool, but it's not like that, right? So, and there was no there was no offensive explosion versus a Tennessee defense. So that's like every other... There was that one play where um, uh, Jamar Chase got loose for what was it, uh, fifty-seven yarders? I think didn't he? Uh, was that the? Oh, that might have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that might. Yeah, but what was the, I'm saying? What, look at the score, though. Yeah, no offensive. You know what I mean? I, nobody would nobody get anything. This is what I'm saying. So remember, I, what, what did I recommend to you to have go as with a running back in your little? Uh, in the other little sideshow fantasy playoff situation. I said, oh, Joe um, Mixon. Mixon, yeah. I mean, yeah, he scraped away with a touchdown, but my man's getting no yards, right? So the Bills, I mean Bills, the Bengals have basically decided that we're going to let Joe Burrow throw this all day. Well, we already dis- – yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know That's what they're doing. a little bit. And even all the, all the passes – But then look what right, happens. You short. saw – I, we'll get into this later too, but the dude got sacked nine times. He almost got sacked ten times. Yeah, see, that's gonna be and a big dude already has that. a fucking ACL injury or whatever that he came yeah, back see, from, and you still can't protect his ass. Well, we talked about that. That that's what they did. They went full blood, you know, what I'm saying high octane engine, and they didn't go offensive line. So that's where this is the problem that they're going to have with the way that they built the squad. This, they built this squad not to protect Joe Burrow. It's for Joe Burrow to get these guys fired the hell up. You know what I mean? And that's what's been happening. Hey, but I when wanna... it doesn't happen, they get drugged and only put up 19 points. I think all this I mean, conversation is going to be perfect for the, the, the championship Sunday game. So um, let me see here. What do you think? Go right into it. I mean, let's, I mean, let's, well, let's get in. Wait, we got to We got to talk a little bit about the bills and the chiefs real quick from Sunday night, because uh, all right. I, by the way, I hope you have, and then, and then let's get into these games for this weekend, because um, uh, like I said, we didn't have much communication. So I hope you had that uh, country Wi-Fi program or whatever. You're going to get a bill for uh, out of country Wi-Fi because you get a bill for, I don't know, four hundred dollars on your cell phone bill. You got the international plan. 
coming up because we did communicate a little bit during the Bills and Chiefs game, which was absolutely fucking insane, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was a part of my situation. I had to choose how the day was going to work. I wasn't going to be able to sit up there and watch six hours worth of football in where I was at. You know what I mean? That's just not one of those relationship fights. You're going to try to jump in the <laughs> ring and, and fight. You know what I mean? You're going to leave that alone. We're going to meet down the middle, 50-50. We're going to talk this up. Which one you want? You know who I want. All right. So then there we go. And then, boom, we was on the street. So, but I had a satellite popping. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, shoot, this game's coming down to it. looks like, and I'm talking about regulation. I'm like looking at ESPN GameCast and watching the game flow. And I'm going, oh, look at regulation going, oh, yeah, they're cooking up a story, aren't they? Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the last two minutes, bro, for all you needed to watch of that game it, to make that shit an instant classic was the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, bro. Because before that was a coin flip. Everything was a coin flip before that. You know what I'm saying? So the last two minutes and then overtime. Come on, bro. What is, what is all the, this scoring? 25 points. Crazy. 25 points in the last two minutes. And what did uh, Gabriel Davis have? Four touchdowns? Like, that's, that's out of control. <laughs> Same like it. Yeah. I, I should have I drew his name out of the hat for my fantasy football playoff because um, – I probably would have better chances if I'd have just drew names and just see how that works. So Man, there's a lot of crazy. these guys. I mean, you would not believe that it was back and forth in that two minutes, except, yeah. except who did believe this guy right here, me, because what were, what were our uh, plays for the second half? We had Buffalo KC over 27 and a half. And then uh, Buffalo team total over 13 and a half for the second half. And this guy says, this guy says, I what was the quote. I won't, I won't expect to get, uh, I, I, wanna, <laughs> I forgot about I won't that. expect to get, uh, uh, I, yeah, I said, I'll, I guess I won't have to worry about expecting to get broke off this week. Broke off. Yeah. <laughs> won't expect to get broke off. Hey, we well, because know, I didn't. The only reason I said it wasn't because I thought anything. It was because I was leaving. I was no longer watching the game. So I don't know. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, you I'm going to hope for, I'm a hope for the best, but I can't, like, you know, put my eyes on it and see, yeah, I mean, how we're doing and all that. So that was crazy. It was wild. Like I told you, man, I like, I didn't even want to play it. I didn't want to play the second half. I was like, yeah. we're just going to break even on the week. And then I was like, ah, oh, you know, we're good, you know, whatever. And then, um, and then I just had the, uh, maybe that's what happens. Maybe I, I, I uh, make better decisions when I haven't had a couple drinks before placing a wager. That might uh, be a good idea. That might have been the way to I go mean, because, you know, I just figured, hey, we'll just roll with it because I fi- I just had the feeling, man, that it's a different game. We talked about it in yeah. throughout the season. In the second half, teams seem to let off the gas, play scared to win. Always. You know, you but know. that's what I think that's when the writing kicks in because, look, we talked about the Rams game. Is, is, are you telling me Sean McVay all of a sudden just forgot how to call a game in the second half? Right? Well, no, but I think or was he, that all errors. No, I think he, he made, played. Didn't he? Didn't he play? I think he he is one of those coaches, and and they better show up this weekend when we get into that game. I have yeah. a lot of shit to say about that. But don't you think he kind of played it in a way? He played it right because he did give the ball to Cam Akers those times. Yeah, Cam fumble. Akers fumbled twice. Yeah. Um. The bad snap. That is definitely in the script for sure. <laughs> it's uh, like, okay, keep it going. Let's keep the cycle going. Yeah. And then the Cooper Cup twenty-five long bomb was was very well played by McVeigh. But you would think that this weekend that they should not strive away from letting off the gas because this is a second time in what two years where they almost blew the fucking lead in the second half. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, that's see that's that's part of the problem. But I mean, we jump back to the to the rounds. But I mean, that's why I'm worried about Cincinnati in this whole situation. Everybody's willing to give them a shot, right? Man, I've been trying to tell you all season, and it's well documented. Kansas City is ready. They're, they're not, not ready. They're not, they're not, not ready. They're they not just, ready for this. They just I'll call, tell you that right now. They just now. called their shot. They just they're, called their shot and walked off. They called their shot 
they called their shot that they are going to lose. All right. I'll tell you right now. I'll take the money line uh, 850. Here you go again. Here you go again. That's, hey, <laughs> You're a wild dude. This is not my Ben <laughs> Roethlisberger fucking rant that I didn't oh believe Oh, my it. God. This is the true story. This is the I mean, true story. This is not the problem. That's not the problem. You're thinking about Joe Burrow. You're thinking about Joe Mixon. You're thinking about Jamar Chase. You're thinking about T. Higgins. You're thinking about uh, or uh, Tyler Boyd. That's what you're thinking about, right? You're not thinking about who Patrick Mahomes, when he comes out of a huddle, is looking at. Nothing that shakes him up, right? You're And you're too pumped up on what you saw week 18. You're way too, or was it 17? I don't, don't know. tell me my feelings. That's what's going. Person. That's what's going on right now. And I'm trying to tell you that Kansas City. Now, this is the problem. The problem with this, the way that this game is going to work out. Okay, what did just we just said that Joe Burrow got his ass kicked. True. All Kansas City does. All Kansas City does is just rush the passer. Now, I heard some wild last stat in the last couple of days. Somebody said that they're the number one on zero blitz, which means all you're leaving is four people in your backfield, two corners and two safeties. Everybody else is coming. That is just what Kansas City does. They just got their ass handed to them last week from Tennessee, right, with a team that probably plays a little bit I mean, if Kansas City rushes zero 100% of the time, they put Joe Burrow on his back a whole damn lot, right? You're not – that's what I'm saying. You're concerned about the wrong thing. It's Joe Burrow facing that defense, and Kansas City's about to run this damn score up. So if – I'm going to tell you, this is what – you have to think about what is more likely to happen. Look at the number. The number is 54 and a half. So, yeah, they're saying this thing is about to run up. It's going to look like Kansas City, Buffalo, kind of. But what's more likely to happen? Kansas City's going to get theirs. And I look for a, a, a TTP. Uh, and if it's 30-ish, 30, what would it probably be? It wouldn't be no 33. No, maybe like 20, 31. Be 28. I bet you it's 28, maybe 28 and a half. Over. I'm banging the over. They're going okay, so to get, the get 30 points. They're going to get 30 points. Right. Okay, for KC, what do you total is fifty four and a half. So then the score is thirty twenty four within a touchdown. I'm telling you, it's written already. Thirty oh, twenty four. Okay, I it's can. already written. Thirty one twenty four. It's already written. It's a seven point game. That's the spread. Yep. You see what I'm saying? You just reverse engineer the shit. I'm trying yeah. to tell you. I'm trying to but tell you that's. If you think Kansas City is going to score thirty one, then. Uh, Cincinnati is going to score 35, so it's going to definitely hit the over, and they're going to win outright. So, um, you know, it's going to be a, a shootout if that's what's going to happen. Otherwise, we're just, we're just going to play both sides. You just have to make sure that we get a better, good price on what you're playing, right? To where the, it's worth it. I want the seven and a half. <laughs> because, no, I had to I want I the plus at the, seven and a half, though. I feel you, because but you would have to pay for it, because I looked at the 54. And I go, damn, it sure would be nice to have, or no, 54, 54 and a half. And I was like, damn, it sure would be nice just to have the flat 54, okay, as a little bumper. Right. I would love to have that. It's a key number. It cost me another 20 cents. It went from 110 to 130. Ah, 110 to 130? Yeah, you know I'm saying? And that's just too much to pay for on the strength of 54 is high as shit already. Right. He's well, like you said, to have a size shit already. But you think that you'd have to – how do you roll with – man, I really hope since he comes out and, and plays in the beast because – What do you think the line does? Last-minute money, Saturday – Sunday money, money. what's the line going to do? Well – I don't think it's going to move. I don't think it's going to move hardly at all. I think that they're going to get, yeah, I, don't I think they're getting, the, I don't think it's going to move at all. Actually. I think it'll stay the same because 37 out of 40 last championship games have covered the spread at 92 and a half percent. And if they're, if they are already have this line set, the, the books, then they know, well, they know where their money's at. Right. Did the they open? Oh, oh, shit. If I mean, it's 90, 
if it's 92 and a half percent that they win, they, <laughs> they're going to get their money on the cover. That's what I'm saying. Red. So they're going to get all these people going for the dogs right now. Like myself, I'm rolling. I'd roll. I'd roll a parlay on both the underdogs money line and to cover the spread in both of them just to see what happens. Cause you're going to hit one or the other as in my opinion. Right. I mean, you would I, think, I think, I think if you're thinking Cincinnati, you're still in a good place. Kind of because the, I just looked at the open worldwide open was six and a half people who was on the Kansas city already missed the best number. That number is not coming back. No damn way. Six Nobody's half. offering six and a half no more. And I mean, it won't you're go not going to be a, it won't go not be a seven and a half because they don't want to give them that extra half. It would be a have to be a whole lot of damn money on the other side coming in to make that move. You know what I'm saying? The, the half a point. I think it would take a shitload of money to come in to move that one damn half a point, bro. I'm telling you. It and I just Vegas Mac or a, a Mac <laughs> type right style bet and, to roll yeah. in to get that number to sway oh, a little bit. Yeah, him and Floyd Mayweather come in together. <laughs> right. Maybe they can make some lines move. Like, what do they know? Okay, but yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't see it. And I seen the. the Oh shit! Vegas is saying minus seven, minus one fifteen. Hey, <laughs> that cheap ass motherfuckers, man! I'm telling minus you, dirty, bro. Kansas City minus seven, minus one fifteen. <laughs> yeah, they're not even giving you the one ten. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. It's already they're written grimy, that, case, dude. that, that KC is going to win. That's what I'm saying. So they're trying to force you the other way. Well, they don't have to force me because we already know. Well, you're going to play it anyway. I'm just saying, find a better play. Like I need a. Uh, well, you're saying they're gonna win outright, so I'm saying is money line. Hey, I worth think it's worth more than I think, the, this. I think it's worth a unit to throw on the the money line for Cincinnati after the Especially, game. Kansas City and 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 Buffalo just played. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, their confidence is gonna be high as fuck. I mean, why wouldn't it be right? Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, Trent Hindu twenty four agrees with me. Bills and the Chiefs craziest game I've ever seen. That was definitely, I think. Something I tweeted this weekend. Wish I saw it. <laughs> you wish you could have seen the whole thing. I'm telling you, dog. Uh, but at the same time, I think that it's worth it's worth a shot. You know, it's worth a shot to throw a unit on an underdog, especially in the championship Sunday games. Um, why not? You know, everybody's going to do it. Is there going to be a lot? Of, is there going to be, you know, unless you're Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> Mayweather or Mattress Mac, like we just discussed, to throw a big amount of money on it to make it sway a little bit. But what is the, I mean, the money line right now has got to be 280, 320 plus 320. I'll take it. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't even see that I have access to one. Ain't that about a bitch. Okay. So that's what I'm telling you that even locations are taking it off. If locations off the money are. Line? If locations are taking it down, come on. Why would you take this game down? It's not the, I mean, this is not like the uh, Chiefs versus the damn Jaguars. Right. I, I don't understand. That's, hey, that's, that's you, funny, too. Hey. That's what I'm saying. But I don't have access to everything in the world. You know what I'm saying? Y'all right, do. Right. If y'all got a, a fan duel or something that y'all have access to, if y'all got a better number, throw it in the chat real quick. Holler at us, man, because, I mean, that is it's, it's well it's worth it i would like i said if you feel good about it, especially if you're already gonna go in it's just like a front end hedge right it's a feel it's a lean if it happens great but you want to still be able to catch some catch some money on kc which the house says is going to happen you just need to find your kc money i don't think it's with the seven though right the seven is cool i mean you already missed the best number if you want a kc and you'll never see that six and a half again that's that's just the opened for like two seconds and it was gone i would look at the ttp you know what i'm saying and like i reverse engineered it if y'all remember because i don't even remember half the stuff i say most of the time but if you do the number is 54 and a half okay just reverse engineer it right shout out so, Trey Anderson for hanging out with us for a while today we appreciate you hey. um, and and yeah man i think the number is with the more likely you would knowing that what we just saw from Kansas City, knowing what we just saw from Cincinnati and Joe Burrow, nineteen points versus shit them 
I don't know, 38, whatever Kansas City put up. I'm going to go with the more likely to happen is the Kansas City. Look to the TTP. When you see one, if you get a 31, 31 and a half, I could see it looking like that, looking crazy. Yeah, I, right. I would say, I would say yes, because it's going to go over. So it's Kansas City's defense just going to start, you know, letting it go because Buffalo's defense is tough and Kansas City didn't stop. Neither one of them stopped. Right. So you're looking at, Ken- at Cincinnati going, oh, shit, they're going to duplicate the same thing that Josh Allen did. No, because Josh Allen wasn't getting swallowed up. He was getting on his horse and he was running up out of that thing. Joe Burrow's getting swallowed up regularly. Yeah. Hey, I, you ain't wrong on that. So you think the, the team total for Kansas City would be like a 31 and a half? 30, yeah, if it's seven, half, if it's seven, the way I look at it. Yeah. So that would mean the. Cincinnati would have to be what? Probably tw- it'd probably be 24 and a half. 23 and a half, 24 and a half. Yeah, they'd probably try to get you and get say you 24 half, and a half. Right? Yeah. 24. Yeah. Hey, if it's like that, if it's that wide of a spread, in my opinion, don't you think, homie, that it'd be take your chances on the 24 and a half over? Because A, I already think they're going to cover. B, if they yeah. if they are down by uh, um, you know ten points, and what happens with the two point conversion aspect we've yeah. seen recently, um, especially when goals. their team is coming back for whatever dumbass reason. When you're right. coming back because you've been down, all of a sudden a two point conversion is is, is important. It, you got to have it, one. Right. <laughs> And a missed extra point by, uh, you know, Butker. I don't know. Happened on uh, Sunday, right? Yeah. So that's where the that's where the what, numbers come into play. You just got to find the right the right uh, the right sway there a little bit. If you're considering either one of those, I would say money line versus the TTP. I would say whichever one is cheaper, and we know it's probably going to be the money line if it's available to you. Um, that's why I would probably lean to the money line play. Um, but yeah, the 24 and a half is probably, it's probably going to be probably going to be close now. I mean, if it landed straight on 24, if you can get a 24, I would feel super comfortable. I'd say go the, go the 24 and over 24. You can get, you get a push on that. If you need yeah, to. Cause you could probably get it at 110, 115. Right. So it's like, it's like normal. Right. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I like that. It's very interesting. Like, like you said, minus seven, 54 and a half. You know, I like the over in this one, even though what? I guess it was only it was only 50 percent last weekend, two and four. Yeah, two and two, I guess. Uh, over unders last week. So um, nobody. Well, I guess the snow kind of swayed that a little bit. I we, we should have hit the under. We should have took the under and now we we're stupid and didn't. But yeah, uh, San Francisco, Green Bay. But. Yeah, what you got to say about this game? I mean, well, I mean one, one more thing, one more thing, real quick. The KC and Cincy. Uh, obviously, we'll we'll stay tuned for prop bets because I think we got a of few course. of those yeah. rolling in Championship Sunday. I think the prop bet are going to be fire. We will have to put those it. on the. We're going to put those on the Twitter because yeah, and yeah, once we compile everything. Yeah, and uh, you know we don't have. 16 games to look at like we did the regular season trying to find these we just roll it with the uh the sunday spectacular since we're uh we're straight and then plus we still got the the crack in tomorrow that we're gonna come up with so you set an alarm for that what's that i need to set an alarm for that so yeah. i tell you i need to have the schedule on so you, alarm so you don't forget to place the wager but over three and a half field goals don't you think this is one of those games that uh that uh can roll <laughs> With the uh, over three and a half field goals, you think it's just going to be a shootout? Because if I had to pick one or the other, and I'll get into this in the second game, San Francisco, Los Angeles Rams. Mm-hmm. Um, as much as I want to play the over mm-hmm. three and a half field goals, and I put this on here because I wanted to debate a little bit, I don't think this would be the game for the over three and a half field goals. I think this is straight. Balls to the wall, go for it on fourth down, two point conversion. Yeah. Um, to make because if that's because if that's the case, that if that's the case, that means uh, four field goals minimum for that to hit. That's twelve points. Twelve points. That leaves me now. I'm down to forty two and a half minus seven. 
42 and a half. Uh, 30, I think 25. Come on, man. No. No. <laughs> 25, 18. Come on, man. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a so, game, it'd be that way. Yeah. Cause that means you, there's your under, your under. Now your over's gone. Right. So your over's well, probably going to be gone in that game. And I think it would probably be like defensive special teams touchdown something if it was that type of game. Because that's four, that's four minimum uh, possessions that end in field goal. It's not a lot of time involved in that. I mean, you're wasting a lot of time in that. But if you look at it as uh, there's lots of scenarios that they could write up for this, homie. As you've oh, seen, oh come on! So, I could probably come up with one right damn now if I thought hard enough. <laughs> well, that's what I was getting at. I mean, you know, Joe Burrow gets sacked, you know, three times in a row, and they get good field position, go three and out, but they got the ball at the forty or thirty-five yard line somehow on a bad punt that results in a what fifty-two yard or field goal that they just need points because they just got the ball back. I mean, come on now. I mean, I've seen crazier things, man. Uh, 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 the kicker, Brad Pinion from Tampa Bay, kicked the ball on a kickoff out of bounds twice for the Rams to start off at the 40. So I, I don't even know, man. Right. I'm telling you, everything can happen. Right, right. When does a kicker kick the ball out of bounds, much less twice? It's I wild, It's going to be fun. I think the prop bets for this game are going to be fun and very challenging. Um, I think know, it's going to have a lot of people fooled, though. Watch. Well, you're talking to the number one fool right here. You know how I roll. Because I think they, them numbers are going to be expensive, probably. Going from uh, prop master. Like if you're looking at uh, looking at uh, Mahomes numbers or Burroughs numbers for overs, for completions, and uh, I think I like the Joe Burrow completions over. If I'm thinking about the way that I was having the game mapped out. Or no, no, attempts. I'd have to see what the attempts number is because, yeah, if KC gets going, it's definitely uh, we're throwing this, and Joe Mixon becomes like the, you know, off pace situation. What did? Well, let's look and see. So I wish I could just so, see what's on FanDuel and all of this, even though I, I could right? play play something. I just want to know what's available. Well. We're going to know what's available on a Saturday when we roll to uh, the Snoqualmies. So we'll have to check out and see what they got rolling up there. That's tomorrow, homie. Better get your, uh, your aches and pains all taken care of. See where mm. we roll. But uh, <laughs> Joe Burrow wow. threw the ball, bro threw the ball 37 times last week. Right. And Mahomes threw it like fucking who knows. 87 times i think that uh but how many i think those uh 44 times i think if the uh, the game would have ended in regulation mahomes would have hit the under on yards i think i heard somebody say this okay don't 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 take this as mine but this is something that's a piece of nugget that's infiltrated my brain in the last couple of days if mahomes would not have had that uh extra was it oh yeah if the game would have ended in regulation he would have hit the under but the time that he had to run that last drive hit the over so that was what that i mean i don't have the game he was uh, 300 he threw for 378 yards but a hundred something uh the hundred something was what was that last drive or maybe it, it was it the last two minutes because they only took yeah. one it was, it i think like it was the last two 75 the maybe game. so his over under was over 300 maybe yeah, no, no. so I think it was the last two minutes. Uh, from the last two minutes of the game, from the two minute warning to the oh, end of the game, sense. yeah, Patrick Mahomes would have hit the under. I mean, I wish I had the damn. Oh, game that makes that makes more sense right if now, but the last two minutes or even the last two drives because yeah, he was at three seventy eight, and we all knew or three seventy eight for the game, and we all knew that the the last two minutes were freaking fire so yeah they had three touchdowns right buffalo had two touchdowns it was crazy crazy you want to get into your uh rams homie because i'd like to hear your thoughts and all the people would like to hear your thoughts on your st louis i mean your los angeles rams in the house looking to say we already did too much rams talk already 
Come on, man. I mean, let's flip the script real quick. Let's they're starting to, they're starting to, they're starting, they they want to, uh, they want to, uh, end the season at home and homestand. Come on now. Yeah. But I mean, look who you have to go up against, man. And San Francisco played a game. I don't know what type of game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, versus Green Bay to get up out of there alive, barely scathed. And this is the squad that they want to drag into SoFi and claim that they have beaten the Rams, which is true, the last six times straight. I mean, that's not a lie. That's a true factor. But in that last damn game, um, I know that it's snow and it's crazy degrees and stuff out there. But uh, which they they won't have a say. I guess maybe I'm thinking about this wrong because they're not going to have these problems when they come to SoFi. It's like perfect conditions. But Debo was like that ball was like boom off his hands, boom. Dude, they Kittle was like boom, boom for nothing. Then did and they? I was like, they, they either they don't want to. That's why I was like, okay, they're cooking. Like, hey, all of these open passes they're getting, they're just dropping out of their hands. So they're giving it with even Rogers having this. They're giving Rogers a shot to make this They're giving Rodgers a shot and it just did not happen bro this Rodgers thing bro I told you when you're right you are right you put on the belt and you <laughs> strut and you walk and you dap and you give high fives to everybody you know because you walk around with your head in the air because you are what you are right and I'm telling you this boy is up out of there and Denver bags are packed and they got the little the baggage slip on there and man yo houses are being looked at it's going down your boy pat mack he's dropping dimes on pat mack talking about hey i love this guy oh guess where this guy his old oc just copped a new job off of a damn zip recruiter linkedin now he's the hc denver broncos i'm telling you when you are right you are right. And when you are right, you strut. Okay. You tell the damn world, boy. You, we, I was talking to Aaron Jones. Shout out Aaron Jones, baby. Not the running back, our boy in Vegas. That's uh, right. I was talking to him last night, and I asked him that same question about uh, Denver, and we were talking about the franchise tag, and we were discussing whether if the Packers – trade before we get into the san francisco rams game i'm glad you brought this up homie yeah we're gonna start that's why it all circles back around. yeah we do need to talk about that um the packers trade aaron Rodgers to denver Devontae adams has to be gone because you're not gonna pay a Devontae adams 20 million a year with the franchise tag for Jordan Love to throw him the ball, correct? So I mean, you would like to. I mean, if that's what I got, I mean, but but I, I know, know. But are you really? Gonna, I'm not going to be in the. You mix. have to go full rebuild, rebuild. Yes. I'm if not going you to be in get the rid of Aaron Rodgers. You yeah. can't throw away twenty million dollars to there. So wherever Aaron Rodgers goes, you suggesting giving Devontae, Devontae Adams, away. Adams has to go at the same spot because he'll be a free agent, right? So you're suggesting Green Bay just gives him away too? Why you're at it? Take your own boy with you. They're gonna have to because you're not gonna spend twenty million dollars on a, a franchise tag wide receiver when you don't have nobody to throw him the ball. So he's up for the tag a hundred percent next year. Is that what you're saying? I don't know this to be factual. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, he's on contract year, so he wants to be the <sighs> highest paid receiver. So if they want to keep him then he's gonna they're not gonna give him a new uh, contract they're gonna give no, him a franchise tag which i think aaron and i discussed it was like 20 20 million or whatever around there that he's gonna get so if aaron Rodgers isn't there there's no way you keep i guess it was two questions of this two uh scenarios to this that we were talking about was i mean if you're the packers do you pay 20 million for a receiver to keep Devonte adams there hoping you get a quarterback next year that you can uh or not next year, one. but the year after. You're going to be get... hoping for Arch Manning. Right, maybe. Um, but that just doesn't make any sense. But if this is true, like you said, the what was it, the offensive coordinator from Green Bay is a new head coach at, in Denver? Facts. I mean, the signs point. What we, we were just talking about this before. Um, what fucking team was that, homie, that we were talking about uh, going forward with? 
the same typical or similar situation happened. Mm. We talked about Vrabel and Brady being boys. Anyways, I don't know. But what do you think? I mean, do you think that that's a possibility? You you called it. Did you not call it, Denver? And you and Aaron Jones on the same page? Soon as the, the, the coach move moved across the chessboard, I was like, wow, I already won. I should have been able to play this somewhere because I've been on this since day one. I just didn't know when. And I kept saying, I don't know if it's going to be then. I don't know. But this is the spot. And how do you get a coach there that dude's already into? Um, look, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All I know, all I know for a fact is take your choice. Cortland Sutton, Cortland Sutton or Jerry Judy, one of them is out of there immediately. And they're out of there immediately, not even involving De- uh, Devontae Adams, because I didn't even think of that. That's a good thought. But you're. But, you put a Real package quick. together and certain and that would be other a package. pieces that would be a package to about. get because the the uh Packers would have to get a younger wide re- or a, a, a young wide receiver in the package for Rodgers because they yeah. know they're not going to sign Adams to stay there. Yeah, and Judy's still like what is this his cuz he came with rugs then, right? So this is, he would he's still in his first contract. Uh, yep. So they don't have to trip Perfect. for a minute. So maybe it should be maybe you should lean Judy so you can kind of line him up with Jordan Love and then start getting your you know component draft picks or whatever you need to kind of fill everything out because uh, Green Bay is going to be a little bit of a a, um, a rebuild. I mean, especially if that if that if that happens, like I think, and I think there's a whole lot of shit will happen. You know what I'm saying? I think. I think the the Rams about to smoke the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo is about to take over Big Ben. Okay. I don't know why I think that, but I don't know. I think some shit there because hey, when there's smoke, there's fire. Okay. There's definitely something rolling through uh hey. the offseason in the NFL. What about the Tom Brady and Gronk show pulling up to the Bay Area? What after about- the after, after the Rams smoke them, right? No, and then the Brady dude, that's and another conversation that we need to have bus, another day. Party bus pulls up to the Bay Area like whoop, whoop. Oh, party man, bus man. is over. I think it's yeah, over. Yeah. Both yeah, I mean, it should be. It should be, man. But I don't. I don't think Tom. I don't think Tom Brady is ready. Because I don't. Come on, when are you gonna see Tom Brady? He came back. He. But won. when is he gonna be ready? I mean, do you? I mean, does he have another shot? He want to. He yes, want to. Yeah. Does. But he see now. Does. Yeah, if he would have got smoked, if they would have like got chewed up after winning the title, he'd be like, "Yep, I'm calling it quits." But it was way too much shit that happened during the year. He's probably like, "Oh man, I could run this back, man." Of course, I can run this he's back. A competitor, you always one more time. Run. You can always think you can run it back. So what happens? He said next till year? 45. Next year is 45. Right. He did say that. I don't know, man. But what it. <laughs> So what happens next year when they go six and and uh, eleven, and then he wants to roll it back one more time? Because no, I guess that's it. No, that was the stamp. He ain't going out like that though. <laughs> no, you know that's he ain't going you know, out like no. that. No, then you don't want to. So embarrass you got to make. You got to. You got to figure out. He's no. got to figure out whether he wants to set it down now after that run where he was already getting blown out in the first half, which he almost retired at halftime and just said, "Fuck this, I'm out." But yeah. he didn't so. He might you don't want to embarrass yourself, though. That's what I'm saying. You just don't want to embarrass yourself. You know, as an athlete, you want to push the, you want to push it. But nowadays, these dudes aren't like Jim Plunkett, and you got to go out there half dead. You know what I'm saying? And try to win the Super Bowl so you can get a bonus or something. These dudes are paid down. You know what I mean? So I think there's a certain yeah, point Jim where he Plunkett knows that sit on the he wants to and stop. Smoke a cigarette, man. Well, or that's that? true too. I mean, there's a whole bunch of dudes, I'm sure. But I mean, but I'm just saying that. Tom Brady is like, okay, yeah, I said I did what I said I wanted to do, play till 45 just because I said so. I'm still going to leave the go, but I'm not about to embarrass myself. He probably feel like he'll run it back one more time. If they if they didn't hit next season, that's going to be a wrap. The Aaron Rodgers thing is a whole other thing because that's going to lead to, I'm telling you, I think that's going to have an effect on what happens with Tampa Bay. Do you think that if the 49ers beat the Rams and head to the Super Bowl against whoever, 
it's going to be easy for the 49ers to bring Trey Lance into that after you just had Garoppolo take him to the Super Bowl twice? No. So they have to lose. That would cause too much. That would cause too much shit. You know what I'm they saying? You it. wanted to bring in Trey Lance, right? But how did the night there's how did the Niners get Aaron Rodgers? I don't think or, they I mean, were Tom Brady. How do they I get? don't know. I, that just sounds wild because he's <laughs> from there. I mean, I'm just cooking. Right, get a move back if, home. If he, but think about it though. If they wanted to, if they wanted to pull the trigger and say, "I'm gonna do this one more time in the most catered situation," if they can cook it up, if John Lynch wants to just cook up this one year, okay? Hey, Trey Lance, look, chill. We're gonna give you one more year, dog, because we're gonna go hard with Brady. But be ready. The whole time because you might need to jump in in case Aaron Donald get on his ass, right? <laughs> okay, so be ready, blah blah blah, and then you usher in the trade because look at what they would be with D- with Debo, bro. I don't know. He might turn Iuke into somebody. They might bring in somebody else because of course the Gronk show is gonna pull up too. Okay, Gronk show pulls up. They pull up. They are gonna find somebody. Well, you have else. Gronk and Kittle on the same fucking lineup, bro. How? Oh, I need to think. see. I'm spacing out. There's a whole thing going on there. That's the that's the Aaron that's the Aaron Hernandez and Gronk show. On you oh, why? Ooh, hey, that's next how generation. Come every time we we talk about football in the last two months, Whoa. you always find a way to bring up Aaron Hernandez, dog. It's How a do you wild do wild ass story, man? And he was a Super Bowl champion, bro. I'm just saying it's a wild ass story. Okay, and first of all, and Ron- that, that the story is the reason why you bring it up because he's like a household name. But secondly, and most importantly, is because <laughs> they played name. Well, yeah, we he's people a know him from name. Uh, well, people know who he is. Other than that, he would just be a tight end for the Patriots, right? And only we would know who he is, but other people know who he is. But the thing is, they started this two tight end situation that's the reason why you say Aaron Hernandez and Gronk because they started that whole situation where they would run these dudes and treat them like wide receivers and they played in every end because clearly Gronk was a lot younger back then you know what I'm saying I don't know if they could revive that show but George Kittle still bought that smoke Gronk would be about that interior you know what I'm saying business maybe busting them slants still you know but oh that could be something with that defense, Bosa, oh, yeah, th- yeah, that would be cooked up. That's the stuff that Brady likes. That looks like a scenario that Brady likes. He's under but contract. He ain't going nowhere. Who is under contract? Brady. Hey, man, you could always cook something up, man. He'd have, Come to, he'd on. have to retire for a year like, like Gronk before uh, Gronk got traded to the Detroit Lions and said, Oh, well, shit, I, I didn't know I he retired, was under contract. So. Maybe Brady just retires for one year, comes back in year four. Oh, no, nah, there ain't going to be no other year. It ain't going to be no other years. I thought he was like, you know, saying peace, you know, and all of that. Since everybody seems to be saying peace, Sean Payton just like, yo, I'm a body. You know, <laughs> I, <forgot laughs> saying, about that. I don't like this no more. I'm a body here. I'm good. You, yeah, you Sean know. Payton says, yeah, I'm just going to get out of my contract for one year. Exactly what I just said about Gronk, how he got out of his contract for one year, retired, quote unquote, didn't mm-hmm. have a contract. Reposition. Okay. Signed somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Peyton the same way. Uh, everybody knows that McCarthy's on the chopping block. Sounds like Peyton's going to uh, waiting for that Dallas job. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, who knows? But he's he's a cold ass dude though. As soon as Drew Brees left, and he found out how real the game gets, he was like, "Oh, I'm up out of here. Let me get out of no. here real quick." I mean, they they have a situation is all bad. They yeah, but yeah, they're Michael they're... Michael Thomas didn't want to come back. Okay. Alvin Kamara, he's fallen by the way of Todd Gurley. You know what I mean? It, it, it's not. Yeah, but they're. There. Yeah, the, how do you say it was all bad? Because they went, they almost made the playoffs with, first of all, Jameis Winston. We're they talking about the, the playoffs. playoffs. Where they, they beat the playoffs with Jameis Winston, 100%. And they had a Trevor Simeon and a freaking uh, Taysom overpaid Hill in the lineup and they almost made it. So then Sean Payton, but the reason why Sean Payton's leaving is because they're like 72 million over the salary cap. That's what I'm saying. And and everybody's out. And this is what, this is what I'm working with. 
Okay, I can't add like? more guys. I can't add more guys, and this is what I want. This is what I'm working with. Oh no, I'm a body here. No, okay, no. yeah, he's he's a body here. He's gonna reset and he's gonna see what comes open next year because I guarantee you, out of all of these new jobs that came open, one of these coaches is gonna be one and done real quick. Just like uh, Cooley and um, yeah. Coley in in Houston, dude. Did you hear about this dude, man? Twenty-two million, fully paid out to do this one year with Houston. When he signed it, he signed a two-year deal, right? <clears throat> it was a two-year yeah. deal, and they're going to pay him. Yeah, I'm in the wrong damn job, bro. How, what the hell, bro? And he, That's and like, he, come on. he probably he. So, how bad is ownership that you say I'm going to give this dude a two-year deal and I'm going to pay him twenty-two million, and you know damn well you're gonna fire his ass after the first year so how do the, the how do going I, on in houston you're how do you're, i get a check and, and be and be uh, fired or whatever and not have to it work you know what i mean where do these deals get given out at it's just yeah definitely in the wrong business it's some wild bullshit man how the fuck do, do things go down like that i don't know man but hey look so and you hear all of this Russell Wilson back on the air, right? I mean, see, we talking about we talking about live coaches. All now. right, what okay, the fuck? So, what the fuck uh, you got about my boy R Dub Three, baby? I don't know, man. New York Giants. Stop the nonsense. He ain't going to New York. I don't know. That's what the that's what people is out there chattering about. They chattering about that. Uh, what's my other? What's dude that? Uh, or we already hit the Denver the Denver conversation. Um, I just heard an interview with the new GM from the Knicks, or not the Knicks, I'm sorry, the Giants. He's working through the coaching selections and probably going to announce something he said by this weekend. Wait, what, the Giants, they didn't fire, uh... Everybody's gone in the Giants, Oh, they did, they fired, uh, what the hell was his name? The Judge. Judge, yeah, yeah. Gettleman retired, Judge the hell out, right? So the new GM, he's already announced apparently he's a new hotshot. This fool is younger than me. Okay, so he's about that new school shit, right? So before that, the owner said, oh yeah, we want Daniel Jones, but they hadn't hired this dude yet. Now this dude is like, yo, I'm going to get this coach in here this week, and we're about to find out what's up. I'm telling you. I don't, I don't hope, I hope it doesn't happen because that'll be all bad because you're gonna end up with Daniel Jones up here. But yeah, no, I think uh, <laughs> nah, the Seahawks think the Seahawks think giving up Russ this year, <laughs> not this year. I think if they kept Pete for one more year, they didn't fire Pete. They they kept Pete. They kept Russ. They they're they're gonna do it one more time. After that, I don't know. My hands are tied. I fucking I give somebody up else that. got somebody else got hired too. What other job got filled? Jacksonville's still waiting to get filled. Sounds like Leftwich. Um, yeah, probably. Oh, fuck, I there's think like there's ten of them. The uh, uh, the DC, the Colts DC. I don't know how the hell he got this job though. Is now the head, the uh, AC for the Chicago Bears. Eberflus. Oh, okay. Eberflus got the head one. This dude, that's stupid. See, the, you got you got Justin Fields. Who will bring in? Now you have to bring in somebody that's going to work Justin Fields because you're not an offensive guy. We just had this conversation about defensive-minded guys that are HC. That's not the way to be doing it, okay? He's not even the HC, or he wasn't even the OC of the number one defense in the world, Chico. So I don't even understand how he Chico. even got this job. I don't even know how he even got this job. So, hey, I mean, but hey, now he might be the one that I think is going to be one and done. But Dan Quinn said, hey, look, I don't even want y'all to interview me no more. I'm going to stay right here in Dallas because we over here cooking behind the scenes. You know why? I don't know, you what. know why he's going to stay in Dallas? Because he already knows that the, uh, the, the, the Sean Payton era is coming in That's a year. Saying. And you can you imagine Sean Payton and, and uh, uh, Dan Quinn in the same uh, organization? I mean, yeah, they they got to they got to retool a little bit, right? Dallas got to retool a little bit, right? I mean, I told you that they had potential with what they had, but it don't look like Zeke is that thing back. Yeah, there. Zeke is 
No, Zeke is not, dude. He had what his first year or two was good. Come on, yeah. Man. And I all you think Cowboys, he, all you Cowboys fans out there, need to go fucking jump off the little wagon and get get right with life because uh, your boys aren't 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 all there uh, aren't all they're expected to be. That's for sure. No, well, I mean, they, I think they met my expectations for when I was talking shit the other day. I just said, watch out for them. So that was the first year I got a chance to see it, but it does not equate to being able to beat. What? The real shit, right? There's still something missing because you're not connecting with C- CD Lamb to be blowing the hell up, and that's just not what they're doing. And you're gonna say, "Oh, injury, t- uh, injury to Gallup is gonna slow the whole train down." When you had all kind of other guys jumping in the mix who became famous, and you got Amari Cooper. And, uh, come on, man! Is somebody's gonna leave, and they're gonna shake that whole thing up a little bit, some kind well, of way. I don't even know if that quarterback is the right guy. To tell you the truth. Ooh, Dak. I don't know. I think I think Dak might be the uh I think Dak's all right. I think Dak will be just fine. But what happens when he loses Kellen Moore? His offensive coordinator. If Kellen Moore gets the head coaching gig and Kellen Moore is wanting to get out of Dallas, and that's just another move, because you know Sean Payton has a, a, a plethora of offensive coordinators that he could hire and bring in to do the play calling and Mm -hmm. move on from there. So that's just another way. I think if, if, uh, if uh, Kellen Moore rolls out, if he gets a head coaching job, Eric B gets a head coaching job, which should Mm -hmm. happen because um, we don't need to talk about how many um, African American head coaches there are left in the freaking league right now. One black dudes. Yeah. One. One dude, what the hell's going on? And you don't have Eric Bieniemy as a fucking head coach right now? That's some bullshit. Um, but anyways, so Kellen Moore rolls out, and then now you bring in uh, McCarthy gets you know let go next year. Peyton's in there. Dan Quinn stays. Uh, it could be a little scary. Well, they're trying to cook something up. I mean, Dallas tries to cook something up every couple of years. They come back with some re. Read, redone version of the Cowboys that's supposed to be hot um, but it still ain't done shit that uh, Troy Emmett and, uh, and Michael used to do so I don't know but yeah man I mean, so but all of that leads to Aaron Rodgers and some shit which in turn you know looking funny 49ers advance now we have final four championship week you know what I'm saying and these dudes have to go into the house Who's house? Ram's house. <laughs> and, he, and figure this out. And they've been winning this whole time. So uh, this is where, now, what does the number say with all of this? Hey, real quick, real quick, homie. Go real ahead. quick. What did you say two weeks ago, three weeks ago, about what? the Niners? Didn't you say? I said I had, I had them. I knew, I knew they was going to beat uh, You said Bay. nobody wants to play those fools. Hell they, yeah. There. I had them all upset alert. I said the prop. Cowboys did. I said the Cowboys didn't want none of them. No. Nope. And I said, and I immediately after they beat the Cowboys was like, up oh, Green Bay upset alert immediately, because 100%. I just knew what it was. And those dudes Which I didn't are, agree with, but you're those right. dudes are 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 staffed enough to be able to handle anybody in the league, and they're like a pest, bro. They they don't give up. You know How? what I'm saying? So. I don't know. They have this ski, this running thing that everybody is talking about. This Kyle Shanahan running game, <laughs> you know, saying and blocking scheme that's supposed to be so amazing. I'd be trying to watch the actual game to see what the hell they're talking about. They're so special, and you see glimpses of it and pieces of it with the moving and the shifting of the fat guys in order to make the line uh, and these holes. Um. But, I mean, you're doing it with Jimmy Garoppolo. You can't do that 100% all the time, right? So you could make Roheem Mostert a huge name. You could make Jarek McKinnon a name. You could make Elijah Mitchell a name. You could make Hasty a name. You can make a whole bunch of names because you throw anybody back there, and they produce with this blocking scheme. But what else are you throwing out there? So you have to have – Ayuk has to threaten somebody. He has Debo to be able to learn how to catch the fucking ball, first of all. He's got to be able to threaten somebody. Uh, Kittle's got to be able to threaten somebody. I'm worried about Kittle in this matchup with the Rams, man, because 
I don't know. Your boy Tyler Rat man has been like Swiss cheese, man, since he came around here, right? So he, I don't know, he has trouble with these linebackers. And he hasn't linebackers. played in the playoffs yet, has he? Uh, he yeah. No, he, he did not play week. last week. He might have played. He might before. be right. It has been two weeks. It has been two weeks because they signed Eric Weddle for the playoff run. Oh, okay. So, um, so, but yeah. So, I is mean, Weddle active was, for the is Weddle active this weekend? Now that Rap could be back. Uh, as, as far as I know, they said the uh, Rams uh, injury report is clean. Whitworth is on the field, ready to rock. That's um, good. They said them. that Taylor Rapp was ready to roll. Let's go. So, you know, and that's that's it. Everybody's at full strength. And I want the 49ers to be full strength. I don't want none of this Trent Williams, you know, he's not playing. And now their O-line looks, you know what I'm saying, doesn't have this blocking scheme situation that they're trying to work on. And, and no, I want them to be out there because I want – third time you know how it goes when you got a rival you're not showing nothing new it's just like let's get it you know i mean i'm not i can't cheat none you didn't see everything i've thrown out if we done played six times right you got tape upon tape this is all tape. this is all zero and six against san francisco all under mcveigh and shanahan correct exactly head to head all who were, Rams, all who were coaches it at, at, in in Washington with the Washington football team together. Uh, they wouldn't call that back then, though. So I don't believe they this tight, shit. though. They tight. Man, hey, look, I'm telling you. You, how many beers do you think they chugged together? Oh, yeah, they're, they're back cool. in the day. Yeah, they're for sure that they're cool. But yeah, no, for sure they're cool because I think I've seen something else. Somebody else was on that. Ro- oh, uh, dude, he was we on that, uh, that staff, too. LaFleur. The floor, yep. The floor. The floor yep. was on that staff too, and he was the square dude. He was the Steve Urkel looking dude. Because I seen a picture, they put all three of them up. They put all three of them on the screen, and uh, Sean McVay trying to look suave like always, and Shanahan he looks like a dude, you know what I mean? And then this dude had the glasses on and the thing. I mean, not nothing for glasses, but he just looked funny, right? So, um, but yeah, man. So these dudes are familiar with each other when they play each other in terms of style, and so now it's just down to the players and the script and, and the refs you know what i'm saying so that's how it is so what are we talking about with the numbers let's look at let's look at them let's look at them again um let's see if there's some edges out here so it's 46 and a half um rams yeah. minus three and a half yeah i mean if you want to do if you want any of this 49ers money um it's on the money line uh, I I mean I take I take the three and a half and the money line because it's gonna be it's gonna be right now I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be oh what the 49ers huh 49ers oh yeah that's what I meant yeah 49ers oh, you're, you're high dude I'm walking out of here because right they, now they, they, the, the, I'm the, walking you, off the show because you know what the line that this tells us everything that we just heard and that we've discussed have seen it says the Rams are a better team all across the board. Running back, quarterback, defense, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? The Rams should win by double digits. So yes. I'm I'm thinking Ram, I I I do not see this game going any other way than Rams winning double digits. So that's why I will take the San Francisco 49ers in plus three and a half, and I'll dabble in the money line because okay. Just in case some of this Tom Brady shit because happens script, again, huh? Because the script is yeah. going to be all fucked up in this situation, yeah. right? And Jimmy Garoppolo, this would be crazy. Jimmy Garoppolo goes to a second Super Bowl in what, Wild. three years? Wild. And how are they going to get rid of him for Trey Lance when he does that? Or anybody else for that matter? That's and what he I'm sticks saying. around another year. <sighs> wow. This is ridiculous, bro. I mean, what is this dude out there doing for them? How many passes did he throw last week? You know what I'm saying? This is not going to survive. 10, 11 for 19 for 131 in a winning effort versus Aaron Rodgers in the divisional round. Is and that going to take you to the promised land, bro? No, but that's what we said two years ago or th- three years ago when they went to the other, to the Super Bowl. We were thinking the same thing. There's no way. That he even uh, they had it. They still done. had. 
they still had that hardcore defense back then, though. Yeah, and you so know what I'm in, the, in the wild card round, Garoppolo was 16 for 25, 172 yards, and one interception. Bro, the Rams should win by fucking 27. That's what I'm saying. What are, what are you doing? This is a no-brainer. This is your no-brainer right here. This is the no-brainer that fucks you is when you think about it being a no-brainer. This is what happens. On no, this. because look, this is counter to – because everybody's going, oh, 37 49ers. They 49ers got their number. They got their number. Come on. This is a, this is a tra- easy money. Go with the underdog. 49ers got their number. Come on, dog. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. Whoop. That's they want you to think. Sometimes what's supposed to happen is just supposed to damn happen. Because they're not saying this is going to be um, – uh, come on. They're saying that this game is going to be closer than Cincinnati and Kansas City with film out there on of Cincinnati they, beating Kansas City. You see what I'm saying? But if they, you see what I'm saying? The NFC West, though, right? Like, what does that matter? Together. Because the toughest division in football, we just said, well, besides the um, AFC that we discussed earlier, but or a while 49ers, ago. 49ers just beat the Rams too, right? In week 17, 18, right? Okay. But the big so, okay. twice this year, matter of fact. Okay. And at the same token, they're saying the and now all of a sudden, the favorite team. Come on, man. Is the, the Rams three and, a, and the Rams? Exactly. I'm, well, what I'm saying is Kansas City is favored by seven. Seven points better than them. Than, than Cincinnati. And they just got beat by them. The Rams are only favored by three and a half, which is. You know, I mean, it's two scores still. So it's damn near a touchdown. If you look at the number, if you think about the way that number left, because once you get across three, you're fucked. I mean, I mean, what are you, you going to get a four? There's no four <laughs> you're in a five. I mean, right. so you get to the six, which pretty much is a touchdown. So, you know, they're saying they're significantly better. They're trying to trap you into thinking something else. Well, you know, they, so how come they they're not as significantly, they're not significantly better than, uh, uh, the 49ers and the Kansas City, even though they just lost, is way still is still significantly better than the Bengals. I don't understand. I don't know, See, that's what I'm saying. Good. You got to play the game with them. I, I was gonna say you're 100 percent right on that because this this is kind of a little trippy number here for you because you either think it's gonna be a a, a one point game in my opinion, or you think it's gonna be a fucking double digit victory. There's nothing in between in this one, in my opinion, right? So with the nine being at three and a half, like you said, you either know it's going to be a touchdown or more favorite, or you think it's going to be a the other way game, yeah. right? That's there's two ways to look at it, and yeah. yikes, the forty six and a half is a dicey number because it could very easily be thirty seven to ten or thirty seven to eleven. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean. Uh, San Francisco gets an early field goal, and then all of a sudden they have to go for two, and they're down in crunch time. So, uh, bro, Jimmy Garoppolo, I, know, I like the over in both of these games. It, you know that this is a game. Game Jimmy Garoppolo might not even be vertical. You know what I'm saying? He's already hurt. Okay, and, and Trent Williams see, is already hurt. He's their best. And did you see? Climate. They were just they were just getting after Tom Brady. Okay, they chased hot Kyler Murray. These boys is running right now. They're trying to chase down everybody. And this guy all of a sudden is going to be so elusive, right? <laughs> that he can get away from Aaron Donald, Von Miller, no. Floyd, Sebastian Day, everybody coming all at the same time from different angles. I don't know. Okay, I hope you got some of it. And that's why I don't understand why they keep getting beat by this dumb Debo Samuel bullshit that happens all the time. They keep getting beat. And they only barely got beat the first time. Okay, they barely beat us the first time, but on a damn field goal and shit. But I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, if you look at the numbers, I'm just saying with the at the, when they park it at three and a half, that's like a tease. 
And they're yeah. like, oh, yep. All right. Here, is there any reason you want to come this way? Come well, this again, way. again, 37 out of 40 last championship games have covered the spread. So, like, exactly what you said, they're going to give you that little leeway to tease you a little bit, to take a little bit of that money, and look what happens. They make the bank. Put money in their pockets. Yeah, you know I mean, if I, if I didn't see what I saw last week with Tampa Bay's comeback, I would definitely say this game was under. You know what I'm saying? But like yeah. I said, I thought I saw some, I don't know, some questionable – choices being made by McVay and putting things on the field and stuff like that after the ball flew over dude's head it was like oh shit let's be passive and then fumble blah 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 so like I said after I seen that not knowing that that could happen I mean I I don't know I would I would have said the under like I said on the 46 and a half but now I don't know I don't know. Jimmy Garoppolo will get lucky. I don't know. Uh, I was going to say, Bosa, fire up some bubble. crazy bullshit? I mean, you got Debo Samuel, who is a, uh all-elusive running back and wide receiver, and you could utilize them the right way. They both came from the same tree, I guess, so to speak, and you have all these opportunities. I think Debo has uh, two rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown against the Rams this year. And that was before, that was early in the year before um, they, Shanahan realized what they could use Debo for as they utilized him in the end of the year as a running back a, a lot of the times to get some carries. So, I mean, is Debo Samuel the X factor here where he keeps Aaron Donald? As always. Back? Right? Yeah, I don't know about that. It's it's the it's the second it's the second line is Troy Reader and if Ernest Jones gonna be that's the linebackers and Taylor Rapp. That's who has is responsible for Debo shenanigans and George Kittle. If we yeah. can hold that, we're fine. If you can hold that hold that down, we should they should be fine. Because we're not that's the problem. Remember what I said in the first game they played this year when I was like, everybody's going to be over 100 yards rushing, right? Because I was right, like, that's right. how they would win, right? Because Aaron Donald all these dudes are hunting, but they're hunting for a passer, somebody that's sitting back there for some time so they can get after it. If you're handing the ball off and doing shenanigans, second line safeties need to be Trump tight. That's just what it's got to be. And that's why when they pull these shenanigans and then they start getting game flow, I go, oh, that's some bullshit. Here they go with the shit. So that way you leave the door open for writing to happen. <laughs> you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yep. So if long as Stafford, which is looking a little bit better, and like I said, I've told you, I don't trust Stafford like this because we was down with Goof and Goof already did this. Right. So you still got work to do, Matt Stafford. Don't get comfortable out here. Goof already did this. Okay. So long as we just keep the pressure on from an offensive thing, there's nothing the 49ers can't fade that, dude. Come on, man. We was running from Sue last week and JPP and these dudes. Okay. And they shut down the running game, kind of. Right. So Nick Bosa, uh, 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 what's my man, Armstead. It's the same basic situation. It was just a warm up. You know, eat that shit. Forty uh, Niners uh, secondary chewed up all the time. Chewed up, spit out. Watch. So I don't know. I don't know about the over because, like I said, that's my reason for chilling with the over for now with the information I have. Well, either way, I think with the. Uh, I mean, if you're thinking an under game, then I don't see a. Uh, 21 to 10 game in this i don't you know what i'm saying or uh i don't i don't see one of those games if it's a blowout by lar i think it's more of a of a yeah 37 to 15 or whatever bullshit type game that is la's got to put la your rams have to put points on the board because mcfay's fucking around in the second half not putting up points when they put up points in the first half and let Tom Brady back in the game, right? Does he mm-hmm. actually figure out what the fuck he's supposed to be doing and play football in the second half? And then they get some garbage points from San Francisco in the second half. I don't know. I'm still on the fence here. Like I said earlier, I think 
I would take a close one point game, to be honest. And I would still take the over 30, so, 31, 30 type bullshit. I don't know. Okay. So, okay. Let's look at it this way. Let's see if we can reverse engineer. Right. So, okay. So you call a closer game, probably over, which means 49ers have what three touchdowns you're saying who's getting these three touchdowns i think, gotta be gotta be strip side fumble it's hey, gotta be something like this you're well, expecting I'm, jimmy garoppolo to get you one touchdown which he has not done in the postseason yet no no he has two interceptions in the postseason though hey we'll take that <laughs> so, jay the Ramsey so, hey, will be happy to hear about you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hope stafford fuck something up and uh get you a good uh solid performance back in the uh to get you Stafford fuck something up so you can get a defensive score like you said I don't know I maybe Garoppolo surprises us after we just saw what we saw last week from the last two minutes of the game in Buffalo and Kansas City I don't know man and there's so many scenarios out there it's it's Mm -hmm. it's it's wild to think about well we're looking at what Three, well, three and a half if you count the damn Pro Bowl. There's three games left, man. And then what the hell are we going to do? Start convulsing in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Having the damn DTs. You know what I'm saying? Withdrawals from no football. Then we're going to start go overdose on draft coverage of a bunch of guys we don't even know the hell they are except for Kenny Pickett. Right? And that's only because he had quarterbacks. So this is going to be the wackest draft situation of all time. But on a positive note, if we were to remember the teams we picked at the beginning and a couple of weeks back, we were like, uh, uh, this is, we reviewed it and we said, who would you, who are you surprised that made it and blah, blah, blah. Right, right? Yeah. Those were our pick, picks from the beginning of the year. If we would have did those eliminator style, and I did this on my own just to see what would happen. You, your last two picks in the AFC are Kansas City and Cincinnati. Kansas City and Cincinnati. Okay. I also had Kansas City. But you didn't have Cincinnati, baby. No. NFC. I had last two teams, Rams, 49ers. What do you know about that? You also had the Rams. Oh, the votes are in. The Super Bowl. (laughs) Kansas City Chiefs. Los Angeles Rams. You see how this shit turns out. We know how to write shit up too, damn it. (laughs) <laughs> and we knew right. it from the beginning of the season, bitches. That's right. You, hey, we ain't messing around around here. We got we got a little bit of uh, a little play, a little answers, and a little script writing our fucking selves for these dudes, right? Yeah, no, I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny though. I was like, yeah, I just wanted to see start scratching off teams as they got eliminated that we picked. Yeah, and I was like, I wonder how this would turn out toward the end. And that's crazy though that. You had the you had the two teams in the championship round. AFC, AFC. I had the same thing in the end, and then the other team wasn't another. You know, I mean, it was one of the teams that is still remaining, Kansas City and LA, LA, LA are, baby. So I mean, yeah, that was yep. super interesting, man. Super interesting. We on this. Man. I think that's every that's that's what everybody wants to see, right? Everybody wants to see the LAR KC again, right? That's that's the matchup. Yeah. That's 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 the that's the that's the TV explosion. That's the one that does it for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the 49ers uh Cincinnati Bengals is not gonna light up the rating system, but it's going you still gonna get play a hundred percent. You're gonna 100%. Get, get play. But Rams, Chiefs, you know what I mean? Storylines and Vegas is gonna go nutcakes, bro, for two weeks, man. This is gonna be oh great, my man. god, that'd be the wildest, crazy. Yeah, that would definitely put some. Yo, uh... Beckham, <laughs> oh no, he ain't gonna be able to tell him shit because you Probably. know because he's mad because remember he asked for his bread in crypto and crypto Bitcoin to hit that shit, bro. <laughs> so he's basically out there paying for free. <laughs> oh no, you know you know how much we got to hear this dude's mouth. Oh man! Oh man! It's gonna be I great. Saw, it's funny you say that because I saw the. Uh, oh man! What the hell was it? Whatever his, um, whatever he converted to crypto, mm. he he <laughs> he's basically playing for like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars this year. <laughs> yeah, free ninety nine. Yeah, he's basically you know getting paid to play for free or whatever, whatever it is, but. 
Oh, speaking of, let's let's close this out with something real quick. Uh, first of all, the Giants just hired Bill Do- Brian Doball for uh, the the the. Um, oh, Dable. Dable, yeah. Oh, okay. From, he's a uh, Buffalo guy. <laughs> from the Bills. Yeah, you, he's a you, Buffalo you guys guy. are tight. You know who he is. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen his name. Yeah, he got a little chatter. He's, he's his name is out there. We've heard of him. Hey, any guesses on uh, how much it's going to cost you to uh, park anywhere close to SoFi Stadium for this uh, this weekend's games? No, I'd go to my grandmother's house and catch the Metro Rail. $175 <laughs> a spot nearby the high school. Oh, yeah, I could see that, yeah. $200 Stupid. a spot for a residential unit. And that's a walk. $300 a spot for a nearby home. And damn near five hundred dollars a spot in the garage nearby medical center. Not even on the premises. Or you could just act like you're going to go visit one of your deceased loved ones at Ingle- Inglewood Cemetery across the street, and then just walk out and go catch <laughs> the game. You know what I'm and saying? Roll. Park at the park at the cemetery, and then walk over. But yeah, no, that I can't even imagine. This is gonna is it, it's stupid. It's gonna be a huge, huge, huge spectacle. All of a sudden, you're gonna see all these Hollywood folks. You know how they do it when LA is like on some. You start all the Hollywood types start coming out, man. But you're gonna do the uh, the uh, big big eulogy, man, or what? Shit, do we have? We want to go there? Nah, we could save it, man, because he ain't going nowhere. It ain't like yeah. He's we'll, back. we'll talk. We'll talk about it later. We'll <laughs> talk like about the big back. thing. Because, yeah, we'll definitely have something to talk about next week because we won't have game to talk about next week. So, yeah. Um, Antonio Brown tweeting Ben Roethlisberger, congratulations. Like, yo, we was the best. <laughs> yeah, right. Antonio Brown trying to get that clock back. Uh, he's a great. wild ass boy. Hey, you have to give the people your homie hometown play of the week, though, this week. I want to hear it. You oh, got anything? I mean, we're we going to look out for official props and and stuff like that and i'll probably put it on the twitter as i you know i'm saying compile my situations and get things going but if we're just talking about a line and a total or a side it's easy you can look at cooper cup because you're always going to look to cooper cup to go up on yards yards only i don't know about completions all the time okay but he's for sure to get that good touchdown Remember how I said who's going to get these touchdowns? Odell Beckham's going to get this touchdown, okay? It's going to happen, okay? He's getting loose, and his shit has started. He's starting to bubble. So there's a couple of them. So what that means is after Akers gets going, Sony Michelle gets going, Tyler Higby catches that touchdown, it's going to be easy that the Rams come out of this thing they going to give away them points. Take these them stinking ass three and a half points, bro. Take them. I don't need them. You going to need these because we walking out of here with Rams by seven or more. If you would have, if the line was seven, I'm taking it. Mark it down. Put that shit with a damn chisel and a hammer. Okay. Get it tattooed on you. I said it with confidence. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving away three and a half points. <laughs> what? Rams, easy. Going away this time. I'm telling you, going away. You're going to be able to take money line game if you have if you have it available. Money line, first half. This is going to be end-to-end win. Second half money line. Don't even be scared that the 49ers are going to be down. Double down and go Rams money line again. I'm telling you, this is going to be a bell to bell win this time. Because just as much as they always say, why does Kyle Shanahan is in McVay's head? McVay has played the game too. You got the same amount of tape on those dudes. He knows everything he's tried. Okay. And they barely be winning. This time. It's real. Rams, if you want to take it to the book, homie, hometown, play of the week, and it's official, Rams minus three and a half book. I like it, homie. It's a big lead in, but I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Hope of the promo. That's perfect because uh, 
I like how you threw out your boy Higby. Um, I don't have a homie hometown play of the week, but I got my homie home, my, my homies hometown play of the week because Higby has not had a touchdown in the playoffs yet this week, this year. Oh, he will definitely get one hands down mm-hmm. on Sunday, no matter what I'm rolling with Higby. That's a, that's a free heads up right now of a, of a insert that we're going to have this weekend for sure. And you know how much of a stamp I'll put on that is because the tight end who caught his first pass ever against Tampa Bay, that was Higby touchdown. Blanton, one oh. pass. <laughs> yes, exactly. Blanton, first pass of the season, first touchdown, just like that. That was Higby, and he was on the opposite side, okay? So I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Higby, look for your player props. We out here. Yeah, you'll stamp that one for us, for show, for show. Well, hey, appreciate everyone for listening. Thanks for checking out the YouTube channel. Subscribe. We appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show on whichever podcast platform you listen to. A little lengthy one this year, this week, because we had to get back into it. We a week's worth. Haven't seen each other in a while and had to chop it up a little bit. Go to thisisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. Grab some merch while you're there from the Funner family. Follow me on Twitter at Stick015. Follow this guy, Anonymous Big Homie, at Homie underscore Anonymous. Use that hashtag Sticks of Sports to con, uh, converse with us this weekend and then follow what we got going for y'all. What you got, Homie? Man, nothing, man. We back like a vertebrae, baby. Uh, this is funner. Dig it. That was Sports Fix with Sticks. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. If you want to join the show, use the hashtag Sticks and Sports. Winners don't make excuses.